Action. The toast isn't in game. God. Oh, oh god my god. Damn it. I'm sorry. We're holding on you, it. Toast. Yep. Okay, I transitioned. Here we are. Action. We're in. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Gnomes, Tomes, and Catacombs. How are all of you players doing today? I'm doing okay. Excellent. I'm doing well. I'm doing great. Fantastic. I can't wait. I am happy to hear this. Uh, so, today is the first episode of Gnomes, Tomes, and Catacombs. Our heroes, our anti-heroes, are going to get to know each other and take on their first quest and maybe murder each other. I have a feeling that might happen. I'm ready for uh, it. So, we're going to start off our campaign today here in Dusty's Tavern. It is a on-the-side-of-the-road sort of tavern on the... Uh, east side of Fenden, where you guys are all hanging out together. Uh, sitting down at this table for the first time, uh, sort of coincidentally, the tavern has a few other people. I didn't bother putting all the tokens because it would just be a pain in the ass to look at. Uh, and this is the table that happened to be free and happened to have other armed and armored people. Most other people in this tavern are just regular peasants and they feel very uncomfortable when you sit down next to them with your armor and your swords and your shields and your spells and everything. Uh, so you all have ended up sitting at the same table together, sort of by accident. Have any of you introduced each other, yourselves, to the party yet? No. Would anybody like to? Or are you all just kind of sitting in silence, happening to share a table but not communicating? I'm I would like to play my bagpipe for people. <laughs> Okay. You whip out the bagpipe. Give me a performance check on your character sheet for the very first roll of the game. Very good. Okay. How do you do that? Find your character sheet. Open yes. it up. And on the character sheet section, there should be a performance button. Uh, kind of to the right of the charisma area. Click that performance button. <laughs> okay. So that's under I or... I'm sorry. I just need to get it's used to this. P I'm for performance. Character sheets. Mm -hmm. Skills. Second column from the left. I don't see uh, skills. Third row. Fourth row. <laughs> okay. okay. Can we're, you find we're your stats? All right, buddy. Can you find your stats? Find charisma. I'm there, buddy. I'm there. All right. Go to the right of charisma and down a little bit. And you should see, like, nature, perception, performance. I see it. Performance. Click the performance. Okay. Tab. If he All rolls right, a one, I'm that. killing him. Ooh. What? It is surprisingly good. You of start wailing on the bagpipes. Uh, Dusty immediately starts walking over to you. She's the proprietor of Dusty's Tavern. But when she gets to about here, she stops, seems satisfied, and heads back to serve the people at the bar. Let's uh, go. Yeah. How the four of you feel about this guy busting out bagpipes? I'm sipping some alcohol while pleasantly humming along to the music. Um, my character will attempt to play with him. Okay. On his, I think I have bongos, like drums. You have... Throw up a performance cap check. Yeah, let's do it, man. Um, what is it again? Yeah, I got drums, I think. That's not on your character sheet. Did you not buy drums? <laughs> you have a oh, hunting no. trap that you might think is drums because you have four You know what? Yep, I'm going to just slap my hunting trap. Just bang on the table. As, um, I'm going to look at... <laughs> I'm going to look at his character, and I'll say, Greetings, fellow adventurer types. Let me soothe your ears with my bagpipes. <laughs> Do I at least play the hunting trap well? Yeah, you rolled a fucking 20, man. You're, like, banging along as if it's a tambourine, Efficient. getting the little metal things to kind of snap uh, back and forth against each other. It's yes. great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I kind of um... just look around, like, with, like, Forrest Gump, like, super happy and super dumb. Uh, hearing this music, I would like to do like a dance along with it because it's making my body want to groove to the beat. All right. Uh, I will also, also... going to throw a performance roll. <laughs> <laughs> uh, somehow your dance is very offensive. Steven, would you tell me what it is that Disguised Toast, uh, Le Sin, Le no, Seelin, did that is so terrible with his dance that it has the entire bar stopping to look at this obscene gesture. 
I think he tried to do some sort of sexy lady dance, but he was doing it with the gnomes, and it was just a little bit too suggestive, and I don't think people took very kindly to it. Yeah. Some people start leaving that side of the bar and heading to other sections to <laughs> chat. I am done playing people. my hunting trap after that. The hunting trap stops. The bagpipes are still going. Uh, Lin is hanging out doing his thing by himself now. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, it gets a little awkward. Uh, what about... <laughs> uh, Midori, what are you up to? Just sipping? I'm laughing hysterically at his dance right now. It's providing great entertainment. Oh, that's great. Uh... Okay, I am in the... Uh, I'm, I'm sitting at the edge of a bar stool. Um, or at the edge of the bar and I was still drinking a little bit. I was a little bit irritated earlier. But now, especially with this horrible dancer going on, my character is incredibly irritated. So I walk over, fully within my wits, because I was drinking water, okay, beforehand, to keep my wits about me. I slam my hands on the table, and I demand an explanation. How can all of you sit here and celebrate, knowing the atrocities that are being committed mere walls away from us? I um I grab her like my little pouch and I have like a bunch of little mushrooms and I say just chill man. And then just I kind of jingle him at him. I approach him and I offer him a cup of wine and say, dude, chill. I agree. You seem quite sincere. Perhaps you should relax and have a beer. <laughs> okay, hold on. That the last <laughs> one. How do I shove? I want to shove Lily's character as hard as I can away from me. Can I roll for that? Yeah, it's an opposed <laughs> ath your athletics. Athletic Versus her athletics <laughs> or acrobatics, whichever is better. What? Midori, would you roll me an athletics or acrobatics check, whichever is better? Yeah, he shoves you right out of your seat. Bam, you hit the ground. Also, you never fix your character sheet. Your stats are all wrong. <laughs> I sent messages all week in Discord. Nothing. Yeah, wrong. but I did. I did, did what you? you told me to do. Did you? They look yeah. exactly the same as last time I no, saw them. No, I changed it. The 12 strength is 9 now. The charisma is 15 now. I literally copy pasted what you told me to do. Uh, oh, I see. But it, the the bonuses for racial didn't get added. Okay, oh, I'll just fix the I rest see, of it. Okay, sorry. Ooh. I didn't know. Okay, no, that's good. You, you fixed most of it. Fantastic. Okay, we'll just make some slight alterations here. And it'll be perfect. Okay, after shoving her to the side, I scream again at my the, at the oh, people in the bar, or at the people in front of us. That. You guys not see the jobs posted right outside? I don't understand how you guys can act so happy-go-lucky here, celebrating whatever it is you idiots are celebrating, knowing that there are so many people in distress around us. What kind of a world do you want to live in? Were you yelling at us or the people around at us? At you sorry? guys, yeah, you guys are goofballs. Um, um, man, this mood is really. <laughs> yeah, this guy's really killing my mood. I'm gonna uh, drink more. In through the door walks a, a middle aged man with a limp, broad brimmed hat, and sort of a dark clothes. And he starts coming over to your loud table full of armed people talking about the injustices of the world and whatnot. <clears throat> he comes up behind the halfling. Are you still dancing, Seelin? Uh, no, the shoving kind of <clears throat> brought me out of the. <clears throat> Merry mood. Good. Sober up. All right. He comes on over and <clears throat> clears his voice near you guys. Excuse me, people. My bagpipes get slightly softer. <laughs> Only slightly. Uh, he leans heavily on his cane and says, uh, I heard you speaking about injustice, and I thought you would be the, the right people to come to. I have a um, problem of Is injustice. There money? Involved? Yes. yes, there is. I'm willing to hear this fine gentleman out. <sighs> my character will sit and listen. My dearly beloved mother has recently passed away. In, <gasps> uh, I, I know it's tragic. <clears throat> a few towns over, in a Bonferris. And I, I, come, I, I hired a, a gentleman by the name of Buck to deliver her corpse. He's a, a long haul trucker from a, he'll, he'll take things wherever you need to go. And I had, or asked him to, to bring her corpse back and been a while, he hasn't shown up. I was hoping 
we could get you, I could get you to go find out what happened to this man and make sure that the corpse is brought back. I paid him handsomely for the delivery of it. I you... slam my drink on the table immediately and yell, Yes! Of course! Thank then I you. turn to the other people on the table. His mother died. We need to help this person. Now! This is a job for a child. What are we, corpse retrievers? That's the best work we can find? You literally said you don't like injustice or whatever, the Majingi. This guy might have stolen his mother's corpse. What justice, justice can we you? deliver to a corpse? There are living people in this city suffering right now. You're delivering Now, now, friends. This, we do not have to be indentured, but this is just a simple venture. The gnome speaks true. It, it, it should be fairly simple, and depending on the root cause of it, you may be helping me, or you may be helping many, many people. See, Bontheris also, is... Yeah. Oh, sir. We, we will be compensated, right? Of course, financially. What's the... Hold up! Win-win! I stand between uh, the fighter and Midori, and I put my hands on their shoulders. And I say, friends... There is no need for us to quarrel. Such a measly task should be no problem for a band as courageous as ours. Let us land our hand and right this wrong. I agree with him. What's your name again? They, uh, they call me C. Lin. C. Lin. I agree with Lee Sin. Lin Sin. C. Lin. C. C. Lin. My immersion is gone. Yes. I can't. Now that this drama is done, let's have some fun. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, now, Buck is a good man. He, he's a, a halfling of a sort of standoffish type. You know, he's the sort of guy who would share his food with you, but if you got chummy with him, he might knock your teeth out. Uh, I, I trusted him. I don't think he would do anything untoward. But the road between here and Bontheris is a dangerous one. It passes through the northern red uh, end of Crawlog Ridge, which is monster infested at times, especially now with the war going on and so many soldiers missing. It it could be dangerous. He might have been captured or killed or, or maybe he's been held up or maybe he's a dirty cheat and has lied to us all. I, whatever it is, I, I need you to get my mother's corpse. We would be honored to retrieve your mother's corpse. All of us. Right, friends? Hey, we are no strangers to danger. Yeah, I Including guess, man. Including the weird rhyming gnome and the mushroom-eating dude. Excellent. What about let you, the angry, angry dude? By God, I can't believe. While you're discussing this, let me check. Let me clear your bar tab for you. I'll cover all of your food and <gasps> drink. Can I have one more drink? As many as you'd like. And he heads over to the bar. Mother's corpse does. delivery. Let's go. I'm just confused the entire time, but I'm <laughs> willing to go along with the party. I nod my head. A restless spirit can be a frightful thing. We must make sure the corpse is properly buried. He's buying us free <sighs> drinks. I'll do whatever. <laughs> free drinks are kind. I do believe our fates are now intertwined. Yeah, I, I like the little rhyming person. Thingy. I am not just a rhyming person. I'm Gerald Knott. And as small as I seem, I'm no goblin or elf. That would be quite right. obscene. Right. I'm a wonderful gnome, the best that can, can be Can I push the gnome? Probably the best wizard for miles around. Yes, okay, Jerd gnome, Jerd, Jerd tomb, got it. Okay, what is that? Can I, like, shove the gnome? Just it's to, like, get him to be quiet. Right, athletics. It, yeah. <laughs> and opposed by his athletics or acrobatics, whichever he desires. <laughs> you shove the gnome out of his chair. Oh, I yeah. don't even give a fuck, I just start laughing. Quiet down. <laughs> I play, I play the bagpipes even louder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a great band of new friends. I'm, I'm actually, I'm, I'm really excited, guys. Okay, well, if we're really going to waste our time on this, let's not waste more time than we have to. Wait. Wait, we should introduce ourselves. I don't even know your name, scary, angry, yelling person. I'm not even convinced half of you are going to survive this venture. Is it worth it? I think it's worth it. Okay, drunk lady, what do you call yourself? I am Midori, what's your name? You can call me Locke. 
lock, like the key in the lock? Is it just lock? I ignore it. What, and then I turn to the uh, gnome. What do you call yourself, fair gnome? Lock. Lock. <laughs> I'm Gerald lock. Matt! He lock. Look, it's my beard. Check this sexy exterior. With a flex of my biceps, you'll know you're inferior. <laughs> I like that gnome. He's so funny. <laughs> and the mushroom man over there, what's your name? I'm confused. You're not a lock. That's what I'm saying. And He's then the other lock. guy is C C Lin. Yes. That's how they you call me C Lin. <sighs> Do we have enough time in in the day to make it to wherever this dead lady is, so that we can retrieve <laughs> her body? Or let's take a look at the world map, everybody. I am going to drag you on it to a place. Let's see over here. Uh, can you all see Fenden and Grumpburn on the map? Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So you guys are here in Fenden where this token is. This will be your marker. Um, that little black radius around it, because your exact location is fairly inexact most of the time, so it's kind of the area you're in. Uh, you're going to be headed to Bontheris, which is quite a ways away. Uh, it's probably like a four-day journey there, four-day journey back. Uh, you'll have to go through Grumpburn first, over the hills, and to Bontheris. Grumpburn is a day and a half away. This is like a three-day and three day journey, two-and-a-half-day journey from Grumpburn to Bontheris. So it's a bit of a ways, and it does cross this dangerous ridge. Hmm. Perhaps we can consult a wizard to instantly teleport us there and save us all these uh, walking around. You can't afford it. It's insanely expensive. Oh. I Sorry, that was my dog. Maybe Thanks for specifying what that was. I didn't know if it was Scar. Yeah, yeah, it was a horses. Sure. Um, so do we have to walk? Is that pretty much your only option? Yeah, unless you guys want like buy horses and shit, but that's not, it's expensive and takes a lot of care and you don't want to leave your horses. Horses tend to be a pain in the ass. I think I, we should just all walk together. The more the merrier. I we can all look out for each other. I follow you. Thank you, Mushroom Man. Mm. Let us begin on our journey. The, the little girl gentleman... fills me with glee, I agree. The gentleman with the black hat sees you guys sort of getting your stuff together and he comes over and says, uh, have you all agreed then? As much as one can. Excellent. Uh, going uh, rate for mercenaries is usually a, a, a gold piece a day. So what if I give you a, a gold piece a day for the journey? Eight days there, eight days back, and then a, a tip on top of that. Sounds good to me. Good, good. And just for the players and the viewers, the economy of the world, a gold piece is about $100, a silver is about $10, and a copper is about $1 US. So this is like a hundred dollars a day sort of job. Oh, funny doorman! You asked me my name. My name Alka. 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 Okay. Mm. I That's do not mean to bleat, but perhaps we could make the deal a little more sweet. <sighs> well, I, I tied up most of my money in the returning of my, uh, my late mother's corpse. If, if he has failed in his job. Uh, due to negligence or lack of due diligence, I would be happy to give you his share, which is uh, four times what I'm paying you. Hmm. Well, I feel in my loins that the extra coins... <laughs> Fuck, I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sounds good. Let's go. Wait. Get me out of here. I'm not going to be able to handle this for much longer. All um... right. <laughs> okay, pay us what you can pay us. We're doing this out of the goodness of our hearts, right, everyone? Mm. His mother's corpse, right, guys? I nod my head in agreement. Thank That's why you. I came to you. Do you measure goodness in wine? Whatever gets me going. <laughs> 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 hey, let's... All right, do we need like? Do we need? Can we just? You just? We just go now. We just start you walking. Can, you can just go. You have traveling supplies. I think you all have tents and rations and that sort of thing. Uh, you'll nice. be marking off one ration a day every time that you don't spend a day in town, and uh, that's just how it's gonna go. So, 
first day, everybody, on the road with your newfound pseudo Buddies. friend. Did, why can I, while we're traveling, can I also play my bagpipes? You may, <laughs> yes. Great. Do I need the another performance time. check for this? <laughs> Uh, yeah. yeah, let's just give you one performance check for the how well you travel right now while, while playing. Okay. I, I'm swaying back and forth slowly as I play the oh, bagpipes. Real good. Oh, oh you're lucky. Great. I was going to break them. That's a good, that's a good enough Can roll, I though. sing with the bagpipes? Mm-hmm. What do you sing? Uh, just drunken slurred words. Sing for us. Let's hear it. Oh. Uh, we're on a journey together. To retrieve the guardian black orbs. And take another drink here. We Did you get a one on performance? Friends. What? Did you get a one on your performance roll? Is that what you're doing? Bad <laughs> oh my god. Roll for us. <gasps> okay. Performance roll? Yeah. yeah. Yes, please. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Fucking great. Guys. Oh my okay. god. Never mind. I have to sing. Oh, yeah, shit. sing a 21 for us. We are best friends till the end. <laughs> okay, sounds good. That's good. So you guys get maybe uh, three quarters of the way of, through the day on this journey, walking along. When you see a, a small group of travelers hanging out on the side of the road around a fire, they've got some tents up. Um, and as you kind of walk past them, one of them looks up and goes, Hey, hey, you guys, you, hey, hey and kind of waves for your attention. Wait, does he wave for us or does he snap at us? Uh, there might be a snap in there as well, as well as a wave. Okay. We should stop and see what these what these travelers need. Hello. Hey, hey, uh, <clears throat> is that halfling for sale? Can we buy him off you? Halfling for sale? You mean mushroom man? Rhyming gnome? No, 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 the halfling, no, no, halfling. No, no. I oh. believe he is referring to me. Wait, yeah. out, out of you character, is, is slavery legal in this land, or what is the... Uh, slavery is legal on the condition that the person was captured in warfare. Uh, you can't enslave other people unless it's like some sort of judicial punishment, and no one can be born into slavery. Gotcha. Um, in that case, this man is our traveling companion. He is not a prisoner for sale. Yeah, he's our friend. You can't, you can't sell friends. Friend may be a bit strong, but... We are traveling together. He's not a friend. You can't be a friend. Indeed, he is a friend, and we He's shall not friend. pretend. We must attend. I'll give you 30,000 copper for that, for him. 30 What's gold. 30 uh, no, no. 3,000 copper. 30 gold. 30 gold. Mm, these for people him. look like bad news. Perhaps we should prepare for a bruise. <laughs> Wait, how many of them are there? Uh, there's like five, maybe six of them. Well, how, what are these so guys? Like an insight check? Yeah, yeah. Can we like size them up? At all? Like... Sure. Yeah, you take a look at them. Someone roll me an insight check. Uh, you notice that some of them, the, the guy who's talking to you, has a sword at his side. The others, uh, have. some of them have daggers, but they're all in camp, and so their stuff is kind of spread out. Um, they look like they could have arms, but they're not bearing them currently. They does, don't look like they're about to attack. Does it look no. like um? this isn't like a camp where like 15 people could come rolling out of a like clown car or something, right? Like there's a ton of people buried in a tent somewhere. <laughs> Can we like reasonably see that or is this hard to... Uh, why don't I just show you what it looks like? Yeah, sure. This guy's over here talking. I'm using the tokens that I can. Oh, they look like very friendly people. <laughs> well, you know, the, all the tokens are combat tokens. There's no... There are very few tokens of people just hanging out without weapons on them because it's, you know, the campaign. Oh, I mean, can we just tell them... Be friend. friend. We're not interested. Uh, We're perhaps, just interested. perhaps we could formulate a plan and uh, take them unaware for their 30 gold. That's... Are you implying that we steal their money? Oh, no, sir. No, sir. I'm we... sorry. Can you explain what the implication was there? How would we get 30 gold from these men if not through thievery? You Gambling? pretend to sell me to their service. And once they are unaware, we surprise them. You tie a rope around my hand, but you make it one very... Are they it's just not, hearing it's not a real knot. <laughs> I'm whispering. Uh, I mean, the distance isn't that great between you guys. It's like 30 feet away. So it's kind of awkward where you're all like standing around, probably <laughs> talking to the halfling. It's like a chat, yeah. Yeah, he, he goes, you know what? 
I can see that you're you're tight with him. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Be on your way, travelers. And he goes back to his place by the log and goes back to the rest of his group. When we and eyeing the camp, does it is it possible to see, does it look like there might be stolen goods here? So for instance, maybe like uh maybe like a suitcase that's too fine for these people. There's something that looks like it might have been been lifted off of somebody else. Would we be able to see that? <clears throat> Why don't you give me a perception check to kind of like scout out the area, see if you see anything out of place anywhere. No, it's all fine. There doesn't, they don't look particularly wealthy. Their tents are kind of ragged and worn. They don't have any really nice things on them anywhere. The nicest thing they have is probably that guy's sword. Um, okay. We should just move on. Can, not uh, friend. can I determine anything through, oh, I have insight and I can decipher the body language. And Ooh. read between the lines. Yeah, why don't you read between the lines on these guys, Celan? I'm reading. Dude, Whoa. they're gonna fucking murder you if they if they take you. You know <laughs> very well that um, among certain groups of people, halfling's foot is like a lucky charm, like a rabbit's foot. And you're convinced that these people are gonna steal you, kill you, and take your feet to sell them to somebody else. <gasps> I turn to my friend and whisper, these men are not good men and they how must do you, be how do you know mm, i think the halfling is quite smart and I so we my... should listen to them for a start i'll say pretty loudly why are they not good men why you want to fight them <laughs> why do not why they not good men i rush into shush the mushroom <laughs> why would we trust the same man who was trying to lead us down a road of deception not minutes earlier Seems like a convenient yeah. excuse. My friend, I have traveled many places and met many people. And how many and pockets can... have you emptied during the course of those travels? None. I left. I try and leave every situation better than it was from when I arrived. Better for you, maybe. Oh, what's this fighting about? We're not going to sell our friend, right? We should just move on. They, they're not going to They must us. be brought to justice. They will hurt more people if we leave them alone. I can tell they friends. Hurt. Perhaps we should stop arguing here, else we get surprised in the rear. Should we just walk a little bit away? Yeah, the gnome talk? speaks truth. Let's leave. I, I want to depart <laughs> these men. All right. You guys head on down the road. <laughs> um, okay. You make your way most of the way to Grumpburn before you have to stop and make camp for the night. And uh, while you make camp, or while you're going to spend the night out in the woods, it's a wise idea usually to keep watch. Uh, with a party like this with five people, you really only need four people to watch for two hours each for everybody to get um, enough sleep. So why don't you tell me which four people you want to be on watch, or you can do all five and just give me the order. It doesn't Wait, four people need to be on watch? Yep. At least four. At least four. Oh. So who wants to keep watch and in what order? I'll do first watch. I'll okay. do second. I'll do third. Um, so this is going to be a short rest? Uh, oh, this will be long. a short rest for us. And does that mean I get a spell healing. slot back? Uh, you haven't used any of your spells, but it would. I was going to use them. Good bear. Oh yeah, you like, can totally cast it. good berries. Okay, yeah. cool. Uh, do, you get, mushroom. do you get um, spells back on short rests as a druid? Um, I believe so. I thought you did. You know, different casters get him back at different rates, and I'm not familiar with the druid enough. Because you linked the house rules, and it said, you could, well, I don't know if it was for everybody. Spell casting ability. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. You can change your list when you get a short rest. No, long rest. Mm. You expend, you regain all expended spell slots when you finish a long rest. So no, you wouldn't okay, get it back cool. today. You'd need like um, a week of downtime to get your spells back. I'll use it anyways. Okay, cool. You cast good mushroom. Um, you magically enchant a certain ten number of, of mushrooms, 10 mushrooms, to be yeah. wholesome and good and remove all toxins in them. And they will restore one HP to anyone who eats them. And, uh, I'll hand them out because they give um, a day's worth of food. Oh, so you're so gonna feed people mushroom with your mushrooms? So yeah, I'll feed everybody with mushrooms, and I'll um, they only last 24 hours. Mm -hmm. I only stop playing the bagpipes to eat the mushroom. 
Delicious. Thank you for this bounty, my friend. No problem. Uh, Lucas, you said you were taking first watch, or was that? Yep, I'll take first watch. And we still need at least a fourth. Does someone else want to take a watch? I will take the fourth watch. Jeremy? Did Locke eat the mushroom or no? Out of curiosity. Uh, no. If you don't eat the mushrooms, please mark off one rations on your character sheet. Gladly. If you eat the mushroom, you don't need to mark off anything. Right. So you guys are sitting down at your camp. You got like a little fire going on. Quiet. Put your tents together for protection and everything. Um, and I'm going to check in with one of our players at random. Uh, player one, which is Lily. Uh, Lily, how are you feeling about this group so far? I feel pretty optimistic. I feel like we are off to a good start. Helping this guy bring his mother's quartz back. Like I'm especially mother. fond of the Mushroom Man and the Rhyming Gnome. They seem very friendly. You had pretty terrible parents. Why is it that you empathize with this guy when you don't really know what it's like to have a mother that you love? Because deep inside, um, I'm jealous of those who have close bonds with their parents. And I think that's important to protect. Would you say the... the... The lack of relationship is what makes this important to you, or are you just yes. always a happy? I'm hardcore projecting. Like I wish I had, you know, the opportunity. Like I wish I cared that much about my own mother. But since mm -hmm. I don't, this is like a good way for me to, you know, insert myself. Okay. Uh, Lucas, would you please make me a perception check? Yep. And then that's not passive perception, right? That is. Mm, it is an active perception check in this situation. Mm. Wonderful. Okay, so everybody's in their tent, hanging out, having a good time, going to sleep mostly. Uh, when you're up watching the fire, and there's something that's just unsettling you. You know, it's been unsettling you for a little while, and you start to look around and try and figure out, what the hell is this weird thing? You're sort of a weird person anyway. Um, but then you hear it sound of twigs breaking slowly coming in your direction um i'm gonna at least go wake up the clock mm -hmm. so yep. i'm gonna go wake him up and be like i hear twigs breaking um yeah i i, I wake up i grab my sword and i start to look around uh, to figure out which direction it's coming from yeah go ahead and give me a perception check as you look around Let's see. Perception. Ooh. This fucking guy is on mushrooms all the time. Can you believe a word he says, honestly? Like, yeah, just don't wake me up until somebody's actually chopping your head off, okay? Has it been like two hours? Is it his watch? Is it about his no, time? No. Uh, no, you're like half. Well, I don't know. You've got four intelligence, man. You tell me. Uh, your, your watch now. Time. <laughs> I'm not too sure how to keep track of time in the night. I don't know how I would do it here. So, um, yeah, if he says it, then it, I guess. So I All would right. start to wake up. So I up. think at this point, he's starting to, like, you're changing watch. You're getting up. He's headed back to bed. And if uh, My character's going to kind of stay up, honestly, since he's yeah. not feeling it. I think at this point, you can, you're, you can see as people, and I think your characters can see that there are figures skulking in the shadows around you that have been creeping up. Uh, I'm around. definitely going to point that out scene. then, yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. You point out, you're like, hey, there's a person uh, to which there's immediately like a, a whistle that gets blown. And we're going to roll initiative because these people here see you pointing them out and immediately jump to the attack. I'm still in my tent, right? Sleeping? You are in your tent asleep. Yes. You will be woken up by the whistle because it is a, uh, you know, loud Designed okay. to get attention. Friends, friends, I heard a crack. Delay not for any snacks, for we may be under attack. <laughs> a little triple right? I like that one. And then we just click initiative, right? Yep, click your token, click initiative, and let's get this battle started. Hold on, I, for some reason my Discord sounds are on. One second, let me... Oh my god. But everybody can roll in. Yeah. Uh, yeah, those like, of you that are well. currently awake can act in the first initiative. Everybody else is surprised for the first round of initiative. 
How do we roll initiative? Click on your token, oh, and in the I upper could. left, you should see a zero hyphen initiative button. Ooh. Wait, did that work, Koibu? I see. Ah. Let's see. Let's see initiatives. I see one, two, three, four, five. I see the whole party. Wonderful. So, Lee Sin, you're asleep this round. You don't get to see Lin. Uh, see Lin, I'm sorry. <laughs> Damn it. You're still waking up this round. Uh, the first of these guys is going to come up and look in the first tent that he can, which is Midori's tent. So, Midori, oh. you're kind of waking up to the sound. You see a guy, like, flip open the flap, look in, see you, and immediately leave. Uh, heads over to Seelin's tent, opens the flap, and shouts out, He's over here, boys! You son. That's done with this turn. <gasps> it's the... <laughs> yep. Uh, this other guy is going to come in and crawl into the tent from backside, and will attempt to restrain Seelin. I need you to make me an athletics check while he Oh, I'm so tent. athletic. All right. Good luck. Oh, no, wait. Uh, athletic. Acrobatic, not athletic. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> this man gets taken. Uh, yeah, I think you just get held down on the spot. Taken three up in here. Yeah. So one guy holds you down. The next person to go is their leader, uh, who's going to hop up a log, come over into here, and just straight up attack uh, Aqua? Alka. 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 Straight up just attack you, Alka. He gets two attacks per round. So the first one's a scimitar, which is a 24 to hit for four damage. I should be rolling this behind the screen. I'm sorry. And he will also make his second attack with a dagger, which is a wild miss. Please take four damage. Okay. Uh, the next bandit is just going to come over here. Uh, lock is actually up. Oh, yeah. And wait, wait, wait. Attack. Am I crazy? I thought I rolled an 18 initiative. Or was it... Uh, no, you did roll. Why are you not on the sheet? He might not have clicked his character. No, no, I, it shows it up oh, there yeah. as an initiative roll, I thought. Um, I'm not on there either, Koi mm -hmm. but I rolled a 20. What the hell? How did you guys not get on the, the sword? I got an error that said you wanted to send this result of the roll to the turn tracker, but no valid token was selected. Select your token, buddy. Cool. What's that mean? Like make a box character. around the screen and find your token, or like left click your token on the screen? Mm hmm. Wait, what? Gerald. Click your character and look at the top left. Gerald gets a 20.14. Coolio. Um, Locke had an 18, so you will go before this guy, definitely. Uh, before this guy gets to you. Good. It's your turn. Okay, um. With my pole arm, I should have a 10-foot range to attack, right? Yeah, you got um, reach. Yeah, yeah. When, can I... Um, okay, whew, I don't remember all the hotkeys. I want to move forward to the tent, and am I able to strike the... Are both bandits restraining him, or just one? Uh, one bandit is through the front looking, hasn't had an action because he ran out of points, mm -hmm. action points. The the other one is crawling in through the backside, and you probably can't see him. You gotcha. can just see the one in front. Okay, when I imagine um, I would have heard them say uh, it's the halfling or whatever. So. Oh, yeah, he shouted it loudly. Okay, so then I run forward uh, to the front of this tent to strike this bandit. Um, cool. Wh what did you push to um, get the arrows on the screen? What was when you're shortcut? dragging your character, just right-click with the, the mouse button. Gotcha. That'll measure your distance. Okay. And then there was a way to do it without having to drag the whole character, right? Uh, yeah, there's a um, ruler on the, the drop-down bar on the left side. It is your fourth <laughs> option. Gotcha. <laughs> okay, I made something. Okay, um, but anyway, I'll attack him um, with my wonderful halberd. Go for it. An 11 to uh, hit? 11 is not quite good enough to hit him. It's a, a whistle over his head. Gotcha. And then do I roll for my second attack, or does it use the... Nope, it, you roll for the second attack as well. <laughs> it's dark. It's real dark out here, okay? It's, it's dark, real dude. dark. The back end gets caught in Midori's tent. You, like, rip out one of her tent posts, and the tent begins to collapse on top of her head. Okay. What the heck? Yeah, how did all of these initiatives get fucked? 
Perfect. All right, so we went you, you, you've gone, you've gone, you've gone, you've gone. All right, so we're over here at 12 initiative now. Now this guy comes from the top to attack the, the druid. Makes a roll to hit. Is definitely going to strike you, Mr. Druid. Uh, and this guy does scimitars d6 plus one. He'll hit you for five points of damage, which is oh, almost God. enough to render you unconscious. Yeah. Uh, the next bandit is going to come over here. Seeing the druid, like, badly damaged, he'll just level his blade at you and say, stand down if you want to live. Um, uh, yeah, I'm going to chill out. <laughs> yeah. I saw the one will come from the backside of the tent and start to rip it up to help steal the halfling. And the last bandit will come over here to Modori's tent um, and kind of just place his scimitar on top of the tent, pushing down on it, poking around to find Midori. It's saying a similar thing. Lay down your arms if you want to live. Does that guy, that bandit, does he provoke an attack of opportunity? When he leaves your threatening range. Not oh, okay, not when he enters, gotcha. Yeah. Uh, Am I allowed to heal myself? It is your turn and you can do whatever you want. Cool. Um, did I drop my weapon then? No. I don't know. You tell me. Did you drop it? No, I wouldn't think so. Okay. Um, I'm going to use healing word on myself as like a bonus action. Okay. Um, one second. I didn't have my spells. Done. Wait, for polar master, are you sure it's not when they enter as well, or is this like a different rule? Uh, ooh, polar master feet might have a ruling on that actually. Yeah, sorry, because I thought it was polar master. Oh shit, I did something. Polar Master. Other creatures provoke an attack of opportunity when they enter your reach. Yes, yeah. go ahead and get an attack on that guy. Okay, okay gotcha. 22? That's definitely a hit. And seven damage is exactly oh enough to bring this guy to zero. Oh, okay. So he just drops to the ground around you. Good. Uh, did you heal yourself? Yep, I used healing word. Um, it's 1d4 plus one. Nice. Go for it. Okay, and then I'll okay. also do Shillelagh. Is that a cantrip? Uh, yes. Okay. So you enchant your weapon in front of these people's faces. Correct, and I scream. Because <laughs> I'm pissed scream? off, dude. I just... <laughs> uh, all right, well, you didn't... What do we say? Uh, you didn't lay down your arms like he said, so he's going to take his ready That's attack funny. against you. Uh -oh. Swing it at you. Oh, with a six to hit. Wild miss, like right in front of your cheeks. He's afraid uh, of me. Totally. All right. It's the next round. Everyone can act. See Lin. There's someone holding you down. Another person's got some rope out, and they're starting to like wrap it around your neck. Another person's got the front door open with like a, a scimitar in hand, waiting to hack at you if you move. These people are going to kidnap you and kill you. Oh, no. Wait, I thought they just wanted to make him a slave, not kill him. They're going to take his feet. Did I not act last <laughs> round, Koibu, because I was surprised? Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Using two bonus actions, sorry, because the Chile is also a bonus action. That's my whole turn, right? Yes. Yep, yeah, just making sure. Got it. Uh, very subtly... Is it possible for me to use sleight of hand to swipe a very small dagger from one of the bandits trying to wrap me up? Since we're, you know, we're, it's a mess, it's a tussle. Absolutely. Um, but that's going to be your action for the round, if that's what right. you want to do. Fair enough. I will use my action to try and sneak a dagger into my hand. And hide okay. It. Give me your sleight of hand check. Boom. You easily Ooh. grab a dagger from one of these people. Where are you going to hide it on you? Uh... How, how big is this dagger? Is it possible to like hide it along like my hand? Do you so have a shirt, a long shirt? Oh no, I'm sleeveless. Well, then you might be able to hide it to the back of your hand, but that's gonna be kind of obvious if they look at you. Okay, um, I try and hide it in the waistband of my pants. Awesome, you cannot shoot yourself with a dagger, so it's a safe place to hide it, I promise. Um, you take the dagger. Gerald, it is your turn. Mm. 
Well, my friends, we are in quite a bind, but I shall solve this problem with a spell of mine. I'm going to cast sleep. Oh, shit. Roll it. And uh, I tell me where you want to center it. But I think I messed up. Uh, you rolled it earlier. Roll it now. We're not going to use your earlier results. Roll it on your okay. turn. Okay. Before I do that, am I able to run a per do a perception um, check to see if there's anyone behind Alka? Behind that tent? Um, you're in your own tent right now. You just hear the stuff going on around you. Technically, you can't see shit. Uh-oh. You know? Okay. <laughs> you can just hear that there's a lot of movement and shouts and threats and someone's kidnapping a halfling. Okay, so uh, I I'm still trying to understand roll 20. I see three bandits on C on Sealand. There's mm -hmm. one bandit on Midori. Mm -hmm. He's dead. Okay. Wait. Okay, he's dead? Yeah. Yeah, the that's the big ass. Okay. 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 Um, here? Perfect, yeah. Okay. And then um, am I able to perceive into the tent? Like, can I see into Sealand's tent to see what's happening? Or can I only see? Uh, yeah, the backside of it is starting to collapse because bandits have been ripping up tent stakes and knocking down poles and everything. Um, so the tent is sort of collapsed and you can see many bodies moving over there. Okay. Um, I am going to move to lock at, like near him, for, mm -hmm. like kind of like hide behind him. And totally. And, and the cover of this tent here. And then I'm going to, um, I'm gonna try to cast sleep on, um, let's see, what's, can I can I look at the area as to how much I can cast, as like to how big the area is? If I, I'll roll it first. Uh, why don't you place it the center first and cast it? I don't Just tell me where you wanna place it. T tell me where you want to center the spell and then roll it, and sleep affects people from lowest hit die or lowest HP to most HP. So, where do you want the center of the spell to be? Okay, I think I want it centered on. Um, if I center it on Alka, do I hit all three of the of the bandits? It moved. It's got a twenty foot radius. So, so it would what, hit. I don't know. You tell me. You have all the tools well, I, at your disposal to make this decision. You can I can't the measure the distance. Well, sorry, yeah, I just yeah, don't yeah. understand the app. Yeah. Okay, the ruler is the fourth item down on your your tap your toolbar on the left. It's like a circle with a, a line coming out of it. If it had an arrow, it would be the symbol for mail. Yeah. There you go. So, wait, what? You got it. You've got it in your hand. Just measure what you need to measure. No, I don't have the ruler. I'm sorry. Sorry. You're not purple? Like, oh, shit. No. There's too many purple people. It's the fourth one down, the zero with, like, a little ruler in it, and just go to snap to corner. Like, scroll over and go to snap to corner, and then you can, like, rule. Snap to corner. Okay. And then and then just hold left mouse. Okay. Yeah, there we go. All right. Okay. Okay. So, so it's, he's 20 feet from you. That's about 20 feet there. That's about 20 feet there. Yep. So it's a 20-foot radius. Keep in so, mind, you could like center it. Oh, never mind. No, no, yeah, I get it. Um, <laughs> all right, sorry. I just did, I didn't know how to use it. Totally fine. Don't even worry about it. We're going to get these kinks out of the way early on. Yep. Uh, but tell me where you want to put it. Okay, I think I want to center it um, to split up the fight, but Alka's not in trouble. Um, Quickly! Okay, okay. So I think I'll um, I'll actually center it on Sealand. Just, and on then ceiling? and like like Perfect. yeah so like from here right. so that it's but 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 I want it I want it on the outside from behind on here so that oh, it's so out of the range of Gerald Lock Midori and Midori yes perfect okay so like yeah. twenty feet this direction fantastic because yes. yeah sleep is indiscriminate it will target allies and enemies so good I understand call. that yeah mm -hmm. I appreciate you understanding that uh, roll me your your check twenty one oh, HP oh. worth of creatures that is a metric fuck. Um, all right, so you're going to target outside of Sealand, so it's not going to hit him, right? Yep, my objective is to hit those three bandits. Excellent. One of them falls asleep. The other two just don't? The other two do not, actually. Do I understand why? Um, they don't have enough HP. Like, uh, they, the total HP of at least two people is greater than 21. Okay. Yeah. So you definitely take one guy out. He's down for the count. Lock. Got it. 
Um, okay, I'm gonna take another attack at the bandit in front of me. Go for it. So I will swing my halberd. <laughs> And then nice. I will do, try to hit him with the back end of it, maybe. Oh, 15 with a 5. There you go. That hits him for 5 points of damage. Now he could be affected by sleep. Um, and, and then after the next... after attacking, can I move forward? Yes. Okay, I want to move forward so that um, right here, so that anybody leaving my threat radius will provoke an attack of opportunity, okay? That's Perfect. good. Yep, cool. you walk right up to that guy. This bandit turns from his place in the tent. He's just been hit by you, and he's going to try and gut you with his sword. It's a short sword on him. He rolls an adjusted 14, which does not hit your AC whatsoever. So it just clatters off your armor, sending little sparks going everywhere. The bandit in the back that has restrained Seelin. Um, when do I get to go? <laughs> You're also not on the sheet. What the hell happened? I'm so sorry, Midori. What was your initiative roll? It was 15 point something, I believe. Then it is your turn 15 right now. Fifteen point one. Yay! Can I go now? Yes, it's your turn. Yay! Okay. I see. Can I? I, I can I come out of my tent? Mm -hmm. Crawling um, over the body. Crawling over the dead body, or, or I go around. I see that everyone's busy with the sealant, dude, and I want to cast Shield of Faith on Alka. Ooh. Okay. Um, you cast Shield of Faith on Oops. Alka. Wonderful. No, that's right. You did the right thing. Uh, okay. Uh, he is now shielded, which will give him a bonus to his AC. That's all I can do, right? That is a bonus action. You can cast another spell as long as it is a cantrip, or you can take any other regular action, like hitting somebody with a weapon. Okay, can I... I'll do a, sac a sacred flame, I guess, on the bandit near. Can you just uh, tell me which bandit? Can um, you draw a line to the bandit so there's no confusion? Sure. That one? Wonderful. Go ahead and roll your sacred flame. How do I do it? Okay. Put it in the chat. DC 13 dexterity save. The bandit does not make it. He will take... What is that? Eight points of damage? Oof. All right. Bandit wounded. Mushroom. Uh, next bandit goes. This is the one grabbing Seelin, and the other bandit has already, like, started to tie him up and restrain him. This guy starts to drag Seelin out of here. Um, how much are you resisting, Seelin? Um, very little. As he drags, he should provoke an attack of opportunity, right? Yes. And Once I... he gets out of the tent and gets to his feet and uh -huh. begins to drag your weapon. Or do I get um do I get advantage on that since he's dragging somebody as I attack him? No. Really? As he's dragging him out? I don't that's not an easy hit. I wouldn't say it's significant enough to get advantage. Okay. Uh yeah, he's just got the halfling by the, the shirt collar and maybe an arm. Yeah, he can still defend himself. Oh. That will hit him, though. And you will do 11 points of damage. Ooh, badly wounding him. And then my uh, he, second hit? Uh, they, I don't know. No, that's a bonus action. You don't get that as a oh, reaction. Oh, that's not as a reaction? Bonus. Okay, gotcha. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And you've used your one reaction for the round, so if anyone else moves, they don't provoke a waves. Yep, I understand. There I think the turn order is fucked up again. <laughs> it's how the fuck Because it has it. Locke and then Gerald Jesus. are, like, near. Jesus and I would... crazy, everyone. All right, there we go. He has been dragged, and yep. he will keep dragging Seelin uh, pretty much as far as he can this round, which is kind of far. Uh, the bandit captain is next. Ooh. Um, he's going to turn, actually, away from this this uh, druid who isn't really posing that much of a threat and come up to the, the cleric over here who's starting to heal people and throw around magic. Well, maybe not heal, but... He will take his two attacks. First one with his scimitar, which is a wild miss on the cleric. And the second with a dagger, which just kind of gets in between your robes or your flowing, whatever you wear to bed, and cuts them, but does not damage you. Whoa, uh, I'm OP. Yep. Next bandit is here with Alka. Alka is flanked. There is one guy on either side of them, which gives these bandits advantage on their attack rolls. 
Uh, a 19 will definitely hit you, Alka, for eight, seven points of damage. I'm sorry. I'm done. You will drop to unconsciousness. Um, the next bandit is going to fall back with Seelin. Two of them will take Wait, him Wait, isn't he sleeping? Oh, right. He's yeah, sleeping. He Good call. He's totally asleep. Don't let the DM get away with shit. <laughs> Uh, this guy's unconscious. Oh, I have a question. Since he's sleeping, does he get attack of opportunity? Oh, never mind. Sorry. He's down there. I thought you. He... My bad. <laughs> down here. Yeah. Why? How is the initiative order getting all fucked up? What is going on here? Where are we? You guys, you guys, you guys. He is there. This one's unconscious. All right. This guy is also go. Alka's unconscious, so he'll head over to Gerald and make an attack roll against you, hitting you, Gerald. Natural 20 is always hit for seven points of damage. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm in cover, right? Like, I, I was uh, I was trying to get cover behind the tent and everything? Natural 20s are always going to hit. Yeah. yeah, doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, Alka, it is your turn. You are unconscious. Give me a death saving throw. It should be just on your character sheet. Um, yep. Natural fucking Whoa. 20. You are at one HP. You are alive and conscious and you can act, but you're on the ground. Um, and everyone else has turned their backs to you because they think you're dead. Is it a full action to stand up? That's a, it uses half of your movement to stand up. Okay, I'll stand up and bop this kid. All right. Uh, I'm gonna give you advantage. Yeah, not only is he turned around, but he also thinks you're not alive. He thinks you're dead. So his defenses to you are totally. I'm dead. like Jesus. I came back from the grave. He took three days. You took. Six um, seconds. Yeah. I can't click my character. Try again. You can do it. I believe in you. Um, Try zooming uh -oh. in or out. I see why. Get off of the ruler. Yeah, I got it. So I just click the shillelagh again, right? Yep. Boom. Twenty. You hit him in the back, and he drops to the fucking <gasps> ground instantly. I'll scream like I did before. Yeah. Uh, oh, can I eat a good berry as my bonus action? No, eating no. a berry, good berry is an action. Got it. Uh, Seelin, it is your turn. You are being dragged by a bandit. Uh, you're kind of like, tied up. Your arms at, at the shoulders or at the biceps are tied. You've got uh, a dagger in your pants. Is my hands kind of free? Like, yeah, elbows. elbows up are free. Yeah, you can okay. and curl something. How's my legs? Um, there, there's another piece of rope kind of around your ankles. It's not super strong. It's just enough to make you so you can't walk, but you could okay. slip out of it with a sleight of hands check. Am I able to, with my free hand, grab the dagger, just like stab him as he's dragging me? Fuck like, yeah, you can. Why am I rolling? <laughs> um, if you click your character, there's not a dagger on there. We're going to give you a dagger tackle. Ooh. Click the dagger on the attack and spell casting section of your character sheet. Alright. Holy shit, you critical him with the dagger. Uh, he goes down instantly. Like, you get him in the neck, blood starts spurting out. He kind of gargles a little before he drops <laughs> to the ground. Like, totally, you cannot resurrect him. He's dead, he's forever. <laughs> uh, Gerald, it is your turn. Hmm. You took seven damage. I round. did. Okay. You're barely alive. Yes. Well, my friends, it fills me with no glee, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to flee. I take a full disengage action, and I'm going to move um, <laughs> this way. You can move up to 25 feet because you are a halfling, so go wherever you want. I'm a gnome, sir. Because you're a gnome. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's see. Where's the ruler? Snap the center. Um, so I'm thinking like here and yeah, yep. And so disengage action. How do I actually move my character? Click and drag. Okay. So I'm going to move like here and then, um, I'm going to like hide in the bushes. Uh, totally. You cannot take the hide action. Oh, can you take the hide action as a bonus action? Cause you're a halfling. No, I'm a no, <laughs> no, fuck. I will never get that right. I'm so sorry. You cannot He's take the rhyming. technical hide action, but you, you can hide in the bushes because they're paying attention elsewhere. 
Yeah. Moth. Yeah. Your Thank turn, you. buddy. Um, uh, I will once again attack the awake bandit in front of me. Mm-hmm. Uh, 15 will hit, 7 will badly wound. Let me drive the uh, end of my halberd into his skull. <coughs> Ooh. Right through the yeah. eye socket. Uh, you break the eye socket and the area around it, and uh, he collapses to the ground. Uh, next up is, well, this guy, he's gone. Midori, it's your turn. Um, is it possible for me to, like, run to Alka? Yes. Um, you can definitely walk around the bandit captain and get to Alka. I want to go to Alka and use don't cure ones. The... Cool. Just don't stand in the fire. Oh, sorry. She does it in the fire. Uh, cure wounds. Lay it on him. Uh, Wonderful. I touch him and he heals. All right, Thank the bandit you. captain sees that the, the mission has been mostly accomplished and is going to fucking take off. He's not sticking around to deal with the survivors of this. They've got the halfling that he needs. He's gone. He runs into the night. Uh, that will provoke an attack of opportunity from Midori if you have a weapon in hand. I do. <clears throat> Wait, I'm sorry. He got, they got the halfling? I thought he broke out. I thought he critted the guy and killed him. Oh, yeah, totally. But this guy can't see that shit. That's uh, way yeah, off gotcha, screen. Gotcha. Okay, he gotcha. has no fucking idea. Gotcha. You're talking from his perspective. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, Can I use a mace? <laughs> yes. And whack him. Go ahead and roll the hit. How do you do this? Sorry. Uh, upper left corner, once you click on your character. Uh-huh. Uh, they should see a mace text. And like a light crossbow. Click oh. the mace there. Yes. Uh, 12 will miss the bandit captain. It thuds oh. harmlessly against his studded leather armor. And he finishes his running away. Um, last to go is this bandit. He sees an opening. There's no one here. Uh, he is actually within Locke's reach, though. So he'll take an opportunity attack from Locke unknowingly. Go for it, Locke. Uh, nope. You miss, and he runs off into the night. Alka, it's your turn. Um, I'm just going to kind of look around really. Wait, is there another bandit down here? Or is he dead? Sorry, I can't really see. Well, you know, that there's a unconscious form right there. Okay, I'm just gonna walk over there, confused. Sure, sure. sure. And I'll eat yeah. a good berry. All right, you eat another good berry. Uh, see Lynn. Yes. It's your turn. In the darkness, huh? Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, all I of the like all of the enemies except for the sleeping one is are dead, right? Dead or fled. Dead or fled. Okay. Okay, I guess uh, I just use the dagger to cut myself free. You are free. All right, and um, I move over to uh, the sleeping bandit and just uh, stand over with him. Right. Uh, anyone going to try and run after these guys, or can we just step out of combat? Nope. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. It's oh, over. Jeez. Can I start um, immediately using some rope to tie up the uh, bandit in front of us? Uh, Absolutely. Just his uh, his arms behind his back, but I would leave the legs free. Sure. Uh, you tie up the sleeping bandit. How many uh, feet I... of rope do you think this would take? Or I just I have like one hemp and rope. Would I have to use it that on this? Or? It's fifty feet. You probably really only need like fifteen or twenty feet to do it. But you wouldn't want to cut your rope because then you got to keep track of two pieces of rope. You can just use the whole thing and give yourself a leash. Sounds good. I, uh, is the bandit wearing a mask? Nope. Definitely oh. not. I make the observation that this was the same bandit from the group of rogues we met earlier that day. And I tell my party, hey, I recognize these guys. They were the one who tried to buy me earlier. The one uh, I said we should have taken care of, but we decided to keep going. I want to make sure everyone knows that. 
<laughs> but I say it in a non-braggy, I told you so way. I say it in a very matter-of-fact way. Can you, can you say it as if you would say it to us? <clears throat> I think I recognize these brigands. Yes, these are the same rogues who tried to abduct me earlier. Good golly, you're right, Seelin. I'm so well, sorry for not believing you. It is okay. Next time, I will have more faith in my friends. Why well, they my friends, us? we have this one in a bind. What shall we do if we're so inclined? Well, these guys are obviously up to no good. I'm sure there's some city nearby that must have a bounty posted for them. We can take this guy in. Maybe see if we can get something for it. What about our we mission? Should, maybe we should talk to him. What if he was just peer pressured by his friends to join this group? You think peer pressured into abducting an innocent and chopping his feet off? Is that of relevance to this? I mean, people get into some weird stuff, you know? I uh, agree with Locke's uh, statement about the bounties. It could be that there's bounties for each one of these uh, dead people. But obviously, we can't carry their bodies around. So I take on my dagger and I start decapitating them. So Wait. that we can... Take their you... heads. Not not the one tied up, but the one already dead. So oh, that we can okay. use it you as might proof of bounty. Find a bigger weapon. It's gonna take a long time to saw through someone's neck and then like break their spinal cord with I'll volunteer. Hand. I've got a halberd, I can do it. Cool. All can right. I eat my last two good berries for the two HP? <laughs> Go for it. Uh you chop the bandit's heads off. They roll on the ground. You have four bandit heads plus one living bandit for a total of five bandit bounties. Um, do we want to go through their purses for gold or anything? Are we going to loot them? Yeah, well, that's what, yeah. What? I mean, they were going to kill our friends. So yeah, I'm sure they've we, probably we, stolen they this. Were going to. The halfling Neri was nabbed. I was stabbed. We should make sure the rest are shagged. Um, I'll loot this bandit. Yeah, you start going through their belongings. They actually don't have very much on them. They're... They have just their armor and their weapons. It looks like this is their nighttime raiding mode where they don't take all of their gear with them. Uh, so they got they got jackal, just weapons. We don't have a, like a tracker that would be able to ascertain where the other ones fled to, would we? Uh, you could I make believe my character check. could probably do that. What check would that be? It would be a perception check, uh, probably a nature check, actually, track. Um, survival? Um, hmm, is it survival or is it nature? I think it's survival, actually. All yeah, right. it is a survival check. Oh, I, um, yeah, I can find them. And I'm, like, I'm very confident. So I, um, I'll kind of show you guys where to go. Do you want to follow me? Um, how far away, um... Like, what's the general direction of them and then the place we're headed? Are these things kind of lining up, or are we going to have to, like, backtrack? No, it looks like they came from the direction that you've been coming. You know, if they if that was their camp, they've probably come from their camp. Okay. A few hours down the road. We should head back to their camp. It's possible that they've stolen goods or something from other innocent people. Maybe we can return their possessions to them. I can take us right to them. Uh, if everyone else wants to... Um, it's, yeah. Go ahead. Sounds good. It is a. It's nighttime, so you're gonna need a source of light. Does anyone have? Does anyone want to light a torch or a lantern or a light spell or something? I have a light spell. My That's friends, all. my friends. I do not mean to be pleading, but I am bleeding. What the fuck? <laughs> How are you bleeding? You slept the whole time. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm covered in blood. I have one HP. <laughs> Hey, he's got four inch oh. chill, okay. You should have a good berry left so you can take it and eat it, right? I gave two out to everybody but Locke, so I had four. I ate one for food and ate another, and then I had two left, so I'm at full HP. See, so all three of you should have one left, in theory. What? <laughs> what on earth? Good berries give you one HP, so if all of you... Yeah, I'm not... Yeah. Um, you you can distribute them between the the five, uh, four of you. I would never take any of these from this Perhaps one. our bard has a healing spell. To get yeah, our gnome feeling well. 
Oh, the bard. All right, cleric. Okay, are we going? <laughs> and I point towards. I don't have any more spell slots. I use two, so I, I can't. Right. That's correct. You have zero spell slots left. Unfortunate. Uh, uh, my character is gonna start walking towards the. My friends, my think. friends! Before we quest, I strongly suggest we rest. My character keeps going. Uh, uh, I follow. <laughs> uh... Alka, but I pushed a bandit ahead of me and make him walk with us. I think we should head back to their camp while it's night. Will we get the surprise on him? We don't want to give him time to regroup or anything. Well, what about Gerald? He'll be fine. Wait, the gnome can see... follow suit or stay in the camp. Or he can stay back here and rest on his own if that's what you he really sleep, wants. Gnome. Midori, would you like I... to keep him company in the woods while we go back to the bandit camp? I'm worried about Gerald. He's very low health, so I will stay by him. Well, you two can stay back here if you want, or you can follow us to the camp. The choice is yours. The boys go on an adventure. Gerald, what do you want to do? Mm. I begin marching, okay, with the I'm prisoner. I do not mean to be a pest, uh, but you would be a welcome guest in my upcoming rest. Okay, I guess I'll stay. I'll stay and protect I like it. Oh, Are we right. splitting up? Okay, that sounds good. Yeah, it's a level one party, party split. And BD. Like <laughs> so, uh, how do you want to run breaks? Do we, this would be a great time to take a break if you want to do that, or we can just play without. It's up to you guys. Anyone need to use your bathroom or get a drink or anything? Can we? Can like? Can Gerald sleep while I stand guard or something? So can you regen like mm -hmm. that or? At the end of a night's rest, which you will get tonight, he'll be able to expend his hit dice to heal. Okay. All right, so Gerald and Midori are heading back. Locke, Selin, and Auka? Yep. Auka? Auka. Auka. Auka, head back. Now, you track them. You rolled very well on your survival check, and you also sort of already know where they're heading. So it's not a difficult thing to make your way to their camp. Um, you're, it sounds like you're 15 minutes behind them the whole way. So we're going to flip over to the other map. Dune as roll 20 loads. Okay. Mm. Midori and Gerald, you are on this map only so that you are not like blind and bored the entire game. Uh, okay. Just you. But they're not really here. So Locke, Alka, and Selin, you're over here. You've come in. You can see their camp. It's not that far. The light doesn't really extend to where you are. I guess you're at the very edge of the light radius. Uh, I say be sneaky, and I will roll a stealth check to kind of get up here. Sure. Uh, stealth checks for everyone, actually, since you're all stealthing a little. Sneaking. 23. Oh, that's wonderful. Um, you guys can stealth, but I, I'm, I'll just walk forward and shout at them. Oh, okay. <laughs> so uh, everyone... you guys are hiding in the bushes yeah, initiative yeah. Um, uh, drop your swords we've come to arrest you and take you back to town for the crimes that I know you've committed you can drop your swords and come peacefully or we can bring back only your heads the choice is yours alright why don't you give me a persuasion check to see how well they uh, how forceful you are I am very forceful Holy All right. shit. They are positive that you're telling the truth. And if they drop their swords, they will come with you to town. Uh, and they know that means absolute certain death. So they fucking run immediately. Uh, they just scatter. We can roll initiative, though. Because we should. We should do this in turn order. Yeah, we should. Um, Select my character. Okay. So I've selected my token. I'm clicking the one initiative in the top left, okay? Yes. And that should. Okay, and it added me. Yep, cool. I rolled a 17 and mine's not on there anymore. Uh, you rolled it right before I cleared the oh, list. So I will sorry. add you again. Now you did it right. 17 for you. Wonderful. And all the bandits will roll initiative as well. Jin, so it is descending. Let's roll initiative. Uh, now let's go with combat. Alka, you're the first one to, to start. Awesome. I'm gonna cast um, my cantrip, uh, Shillelagh. All right. And then I'm going to 
run up here and attempt to hit this guy. Okay, re-roll it then? Uh, no, the the shillelagh roll that you made is an attack roll. You don't need okay. to click it for initiative to cast it. Got it. Um, is casting an action, though? It's a bonus action. Oh, wonderful. Uh, healing word was a bonus action that you did last time, right? Um, correct. That was so a spell. Actually, this is a cantrip. Uh, right, but you can't you can't use two bonus actions in a round. So can you last time you cast healing word and shlele at the same. Oh, time. in a round? Like this is yeah. not a whole new round. No. Okay. No. So I'm talking about half an hour ago. Oh, in the sure. Last combat. You yeah. cast healing word and shlele. It doesn't matter. It's fine. Um, but what I would have done in, forward, in exchange one. would have been cure wounds, which would have been better, I guess. But, but yeah. yeah. Yep. Perfect. Sorry. Okay. So you move forward, you roll a 14. Which one are you going after? The captain or the dude next to him? Um, I'll just go after the dude right here. The All next right. Him. The 14 will hit the dude. He takes six points of damage. Oof. And almost falls to the ground. Um, it is the dude's turn. Uh, and he's going to run. He's almost dead. He can't handle this shit. Give me an attack of opportunity, Alka. Uh, Same thing, Shlele again, right? Yep. Stay. Cool. Uh, yeah, he actually doesn't make it very far. You hit him in the back of the head. He falls face first on one of those rocks containing the fire and then just doesn't get back up. Uh, lock. Um, I will step forward, um, right, uh, so that I, I'm within 10 feet of both of these people. And then mm -hmm. I will take an attack at the at the bandit in the top left. Go for it. Thirteen is enough. Twelve will hit him right at the lower spine as he runs away, and he just falls forward. Uh, his arms and head start flailing. His legs are not moving, and then he slowly stops moving. I can't use my bonus action to attack a different target, right? I believe you can. I can you use bonus check. action to attempt to grapple? No, that was a full action. Got it. Uh, Polar Master. Uh, yes, it does not specify who. Go ahead and make it against a different guy. All right. Then as I pull my blade from the back of his spine, I swing the back end and I try to catch this guy and like the leg. Nope. You don't. He moves his leg gracefully and elegantly like a dancer, and it becomes Seelin's turn. Seelin's turn. Oh, hey. Uh, do I get any bonus for attacking from stealth? If they cannot see you, then you get um, advantage on the attack roll. But they can't see you until after the attack is made. Got it. What All do right. you got? Ooh. I'm a little far from... Uh from them i move 25 yards which would be feet 25 feet around here -ish? sure you can uh, while you're dragging your character just right click and it'll give you an arrow so you know how far you can move oh yeah, oh, yeah. okay got it super pro so uh, well, how long is that 12 feet 13 feet hmm i got a dart I'm gonna throw my dart at him. Do it. All right. Eleven. No, he brings up his sword, knocks the dart out of the way, and it's his turn. All his friends are dead. He did not get his halfling after all. Is he gonna stay in duel, or is he going to bolt? old-fashioned morale check. No, he's... This is it. He, he turns to Alka, standing on his log, and will bring both of his attacks to bear against you. He starts with a scimitar, which is a 14, which is just barely enough to hit you, Alka. Yep. He slashes into you for five points of damage, then brings his dagger up to hit you, uh, which is a wild miss. And, and he's done with his turn. When, if someone attacks somebody in your threat range, that doesn't provoke an attack out of opportunity. You need Sentinel for that, right? Or something? Uh, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. okay. Hit him with Shalala. 
You do hit him. Yes. He takes six. Uh, that'll be it. Lock. I will swing at him with my halberd. 13, and then bonus 13. attack. Not enough. Bonus attack is, though. He'll take seven. Seelin? I move closer. And I, um... You're going to want to move to a side or something. This area right here is a little bit too busy. Wait, who's our prisoner? Uh, he's back at the place with the other people. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm All playing right. the bagpipes for Midori. Shouldn't you be sleeping? <laughs> well, I'm resting. Okay. And I'm kind of like in in between it. And like, yeah, while I'm resting, I'm impressing her with the bagpipes. All right. Nice. So Seelin, where you're positioned, you can draw a line between yourself and Locke that cuts all the way through him, which means you're flanking him. So you oh. and Locke both have an advantage on attack rolls against him now. If you can get on opposite sides of a person. So maybe scoot left a little more. Oh, what? Yeah. yeah. Oh, look at me. Oh, look at that. Boom. He doesn't know where to look. I nope. stab him with my spear. For it. Stab. 13 is a miss. And I have a bonus action as a monk to mm -hmm. use an unarmed strike and punch him. Yes, wait, doesn't he do. get advantage yeah, wait, on Yeah, did you just say he got advantage for flanking? Oh, right, he does get advantage. That 22 yeah. hits. Absolutely. Oh, stab him. Uh, you stab him for the seven because you're using your hand weapon one-handed, right? Because uh... that's how you get your extra unarmed strike is with the, if you're using a one-handed weapon. Oh God, yes, one-handed. Yeah. Uh, go for your unarmed strike. Right. Punch him with my fist. Boom. 15 is almost enough. He will use his reaction to parry it, which increases his AC by two against one attack. So he will block your incoming dart. Damn. And it is the captain's turn. He's already got Alcub most of the way down. Let's just finish him off with two more attacks. Oh, he gets three attacks. He gets two with his scimitar and one with his dagger. My mistake. Ooh. He remembers all of his abilities now and will make two attacks against Alka with his scimitar. Amazing. The first one is a 14. Hit. Which will hit you for nine points of damage. Oh, I'm down. You're down. Uh, he then turns to the monk, who looks like he's got lower AC. It's deceiving, though. But he will attack you next with a 15, uh, no, a 10 to hit, which is no good. And then his dagger will come in with a 22 to hit, which will strike you for five points of damage. Uh, and then says, you lay down your arms or I will turn you into the local grave digger. It's your turn, Alka. Make me a death saving throw. Not good. You fail two more or you roll a natural one and you're deadsies for realsies. Amen. Lock. This guy's tough. Um, what is this guy's life at? I can't see because of the health bar. Or like the uh, name. Is he like at half or is he like almost dead? He's a, what, look, what does that look like? A third or two thirds? We can't see it. We can't see it at all. It's not showing. Oh, you can't see it at all. My mistake. There we go. Oh, there it is. Okay. All yeah, right. Yeah, he's got like two thirds. Oh, I man. laugh at the hubris of this thief, of this low level thief in front of us. I drive my halberd into his back. Ooh, eight is a good blow. That's it? Okay. That's then I it. Uh, swing it around and I take a second hit here. Oh, you hit him in the temple on the side of his unarmored head. He is dazed momentarily with the attack as he kind of like reels from it. Seelin? Oh, I just stabbed him some more with my spear. All right. Stab. Oh my Ooh. God. Another natural 20 for, what is that? Uh, 14 points of damage? Sweet Jesus and apple pie. He's barely standing at this point. All right, I yell at him to lay down his arms and surrender for his life. Hey, it's stop his... that. <laughs> <laughs> he does. He just like dazed, drops his weapons, like falls to his knees on the log, but he's on a log. So he just kind of like tumbles off to the side and lands on the ground unconscious. Well, semi-conscious. Dazed. Um, combat is over. Okay, this entire time I've been resting, I'm playing my bagpipes for Midori, and I say, 
If my rhymes impress you, imagine what else my rhythm can do. <laughs> if I see this guy laying on the ground, and he's clearly incapacitated, but I see that he tried to murder my, not my friend, but my traveling companion, would it be a lawful good thing to execute him, or would that be more like a chaotic good or something? That's up to you to decide. I'm not going to work with alignments that closely. We don't do it that closely? Okay, gotcha. All Is right. Alka unconscious? Yeah. He's unconscious and dying. Um, in right. fact, Alka has turned his next. He needs to make another death saving throw before anyone can even attempt to heal him. If he rolls a one here, he's dead forever. <gasps> oh, darn. Or, I mean, All nice. Right. Uh, uh, yeah. Wait, just a one? What? Yeah, a one is two failed death saves. Yeah. Yeah. And you can fail three. Or if you fail three, you die. And you had already failed one. So a natural one would kill you. Uh, Locke, okay. it's your turn. We're out of combat, but until Alka it receives stabilization, he will continue to die. So it's your turn. Stabilizing Locke, a stabilizing a a warrior is more important than capturing an enemy, so I'll stabilize him. I need you to make me a medicine check. Um, yikes, medicine, field medicine. Not my strongest uh, class at the academy. Not so great. Uh, his wounds are plenty. You start patching them up as best as you can, but it's no good. I pick up Seelin. a few leaves and I try to make a makeshift bandage out of them and press them into his bleeding <laughs> wounds. They don't seem Just to throw do. Throw a mushroom in my mouth. Like they don't seem good. to do much. I don't. Uh, right. Seelin, it is your turn. Yes, I move next to him. So, if Alka doesn't roll a twenty next row, he dies, right? No, 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 no. A ten. I'm sorry. A nine or lower is a failure. A ten or above is a success. So he can fail uh, one more, unless it's a natural one. And if he succeeds, does he come back to life? He needs two more successes, and then he will just be stable. Okay. Um, I go and apply medicine, but I purposely, like, fail. But, you know, to lock, it looks like I'm trying my best. I, so I think that's a roll to see if he's trying his best. Yeah. You and Locke are both standing over this body, like yelling instructions at each other, like, fix him. Here's, stop this bleeding. Give me some more leaves. I need this. And you're like, definitely not really trying. Would you give me a deception check? Um, can, I, can, I, can I use a medicine check? Because like, if I'm really good at medicine, I can make it look real. Yeah. Give me a medicine <laughs> check. <laughs> All He's right, rolling this against like my what, like my perception or your passive um, insight, right. which is a nine. You immediately see that he's not fucking helping. <laughs> no, wait. Okay. Never mind. It was gonna be <laughs> I was real bad it was at this. Passive. Okay, I did not pay attention in these passive, classes. But you you rolled it, so you we're gonna use your active. You don't notice. I didn't sign up to be a damn field medic. Bring I'm this man back to life. What's tell. wrong with him? You can't right, tell. Lock. I'm trying my best, man. I'm trying my best. Right. Alka, you get another yep. death saving throw. Don't roll a one. <laughs> You're fucking oh. dead. You're dead. Oh. My character's dead. You're dead. <laughs> the poor ant baby's dead. We've been oh, playing for an no. hour and a half. That goes, dude. <laughs> How could this happen? I tried my best. You saw it, Lock. I did everything I could. Hey, All right, Alka. I it's time for like... you to start rolling stats and make a new character while we're continuing with the game. Oh my god! Uh, no. Just roll me four d sixty one and assign them as you want, and uh, it's all on you. <laughs> uh, uh oh. Eleven. Uh, five more times. Please. Nine, nine, fifteen. Eighteen. Oh my god! He's done it again, everybody. I come back from the grave even stronger. <laughs> I mean, you had the 18 last time. Did that help? <laughs> yeah, that's true. You had a 20 on this character. <laughs> Four, uh, it's going to happen again, too. Sweet. He just makes the exact same character, but this time smarter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just... Um... Okay, All yeah, right. you guys can continue. I'll do it. You, you, if you have any questions, PM me, and uh, yep. we'll, we'll sort it out along the way. <laughs> All right, the rest of the party. The bandit captain hasn't moved. He's just face down on the ground. I stand up and I uh, nod my head towards our fallen friend whose body is stuffed with leaves and twigs that didn't seem to stop any of the bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> we should bury him where he fell. <clears throat> and uh, I think a I burial to hide any evidence of the failed medicine that was practiced here today would be the most wise decision we could make. No, no, I, you, you don't notice anything, Locke. You, you think I applied as much medicine as I possibly could. 
All I see is a corpse stuffed with leaves before me, and I can't recall ever seeing anything, anything like this before. Maybe the medicine for a tree forest creature is different than what we would use on my own people, but... Do what you must. Yeah. I'm going to um, wrap up this uh, captain. I'll restrain him, and then we'll walk him back to our camp. All right. Will you say All a right. few words over my fallen body? Um, uh, can, can I take his suit now that he's dead? Right? <laughs> oh, my God. Can, can you guys bring him back already? <laughs> Yo, did you have, Mr. Moore, did you have anything useful? I was never given gold. Um, I had... Everyone, oh, we start off with how much each? I, I mean, I had some rations on me, like... I don't you think we start care. off with any gold, right? I didn't have You much should gold. have a small amount of gold. Ooh, wait, um, how much should we start off with? I will... We'll get there. Okay. Yeah. Alright, well, however much he had, I uh, swipe it from his corpse. Cool. It must have been those shrooms. I knew he was eating too many of them. They couldn't have been healthy. <laughs> and those berries. He had, like, a bunch of berries, right? Well, they, the mushrooms. berries are shrooms here in this world. Right? I didn't have any on me. Yeah. Um, you have one, and then Lily should have one. Because you consumed all of them. Yeah. And look what they've turned you into. All a right. dead man. Here lies Alka. He was a good man. You didn't take the lucky feet, right? No, that no. Oh, okay, okay. No one's taking the lucky feet. Oh, yeah, because it's a shit spell. That <laughs> would have been would have been nice here. Okay. All right. The 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 dead druid has one gold piece on him. All right. I swipe it and add it to my inventory, and I, now I have two gold. Where'd you get the other gold? Oh, I thought we all started with one gold, right? No, I haven't told you how much you start yet. Oh, okay. No, oh, sorry. I have, however, gold plus one. You should start with. Uh, you should start with five gold. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Yep, that's the equivalent of five hundred bucks to your name. When your background is a thief, it's nothing to be impressed by, or. All right, I still feel proud of. Thing. Uh, the fighter should start with 16 gold. I mean, cleric... I'm noble. Of noble descent, of course. The cleric should start with 10 gold. The wizard... Uh, will start with 8 gold. Blinging it up. I think... Who did I miss? Is that everyone? That Which one is gold? GP. Gold piece. It uh, is the, the fourth, fourth one, one down. The one that's colored gold. Okay. Leo. All right. The party brings back the bandit oh, wait. captain. Real quick. Are we just like glancing around this um, camp? There's nothing valuable here or whatever that they had. Nothing worth it. Uh, there's nothing for. out in the open. Um, do we want to? Can I rifle through the tents or whatever and take a yeah, look? Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. I just want to take a glance inside to make sure that there aren't any chests or anything laying around. There is a metal lockbox. Uh, it's fairly small. It's about it's about the size of this box right here, uh, except that it's metal all the way through and has a, a little lock on the front mm -hmm. um, that would need a key. It's not like a padlock hanging off. It's like an internal lock built into the side of it. And checking the uh, uh, the uh, resting body or the unconscious body of the bandit captain, does he have a key on him or anything? He does? Yeah, he does. Yep, I'm yeah, going to yeah. take that, and then I will take the lockbox, and I will mm -hmm. keep both of them on me. All right. Are you going to bring back the heads of the other two bandits? Yeah, we'll go ahead and chop those off. Cool. Uh, that should give you six, seven bandit heads. Six head. heads and two bandits? Because we had four heads from before, right? Six heads and one living bandit and one living bandit captain. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, you guys head back to your camp. It's about halfway through the night now. You've been traveling for... You're not going to get a lot of sleep tonight. Um, but that's okay. You make it back here safe and sound. Your remaining party members are here. You return minus one Alka. Well, my friends, I hope we've learned a lesson. The party should never split if we are to make any aggression. Wait, Alka's dead? <laughs> Alka's dead because you cowards chose to remain at camp instead of pursuing the I just and righteous remain. action. You he was on me. his deathbed screaming in pain. Had we had a cleric, he must have. He may have. No, I had no heels left. Remember? You had no heels. You were not practiced in medicine at all. Why you gotta be so rude? I used 
it already. Because an innocent man Why died innocent on your watch while you were here being they a lazy drunkard, playing well, songs in the forest, party, dancing guys. with each other like a couple of fairies. Gerald's health was so low, and you guys were just in a ditch and by himself. What if he had been ambushed while you were all gone? I still had to stay with him, and I volunteered. All I hear from you are what ifs, and all I can produce for Don't you is the corpse of our friend. Decision. Why would you blame Your plan us that tactical Papa decision. is dead? I don't need to listen to this disloyal... Am I allowed to say wench? Say I don't want to take these insults from this... <laughs> from this bad person. Do we need to rest or do we need to leave? I'm not a bad person. <clears throat> My friend, we can't honor Alka's memory by continuing the mission. Well, first we need to run we these prisoners to. back to whatever city's closest. I'm sure there's a bounty or something posted for them. Where is Alka's body? We buried him in a very respectful manner. Did you give him, a, you give him a proper burial at least in we some did. having words? He has did been treated with utmost honor. Well, did you plant some mushrooms on him? He always like the Yes, we okay. planted many a mushroom. <laughs> Thank you, Seelan. You're a good person. Thank you. I try my best. If only you would have had this much compassion for the living instead of hiding back here like a coward. I didn't hide back here! Our friend is dead and all you can do is blame him for this. It was your fault. You should have protected him better. Indeed. Don't blame us for your terrible decision, for your plan lacked tactical precision. My friend, all this arguing is doing us no good. Let us rest for the night, and in the morning, we shall deliver these rogues to justice. We will require one person to watch over them at least in the night, in case they try to pull any funny business. I'm going to bed. I am hurt, as you can tell by this gaping hole in my body. So I would also like to rest. I want to rest so I can regain my spell slots. How do we heal, Koibu, on the, since I've been <laughs> resting on the like little character sheet? Yeah, so every short rest, which is one night worth of sleep, um, you can expend any hit dice that you might have. I have made a little handout of all of our house rules. If you go into the journal tab, it's the second tab in the upper right, uh, and scroll down, you'll see handouts, you'll see house rules. Uh, that will explain this thing to you. So a short rest is a good night's sleep. Every short rest, you gain a hit die, and you can expend as many hit die as you want to to regain HP. A long rest is seven days of downtime, like really getting a nice long break in things. Um, and that will regain spells. There are certain abilities that only refresh on long rests, and that's what, um, that's what those are for you. Wait, so, so I can't regain spell slots until seven days? <laughs> Yep. Um, if a cleric only gets spell slots back on a long rest, then that is how it goes. Oh my god, I'm useless. How is that? How is that with wizards as well? Uh, wizard. I don't know. We got to look at the wizard class. Didn't I assign you guys homework on Sunday night? Ooh. I was never gonna homework. Oh, you're in trouble. You have to stay after school, and we will have a chat. <laughs> um, spell book. Casting ability, okay. learning. How do you regain spells? Okay. You regain all spells when you finish a long rest, wizard. So I literally cannot regain spells this entire campaign unless I we rest for a week. Well, that's going to be fairly common. The pacing of things are going to be slowed <laughs> down. So you will find yourself in places where you're like, hey, guys, we're going to chill for a week so we can regain our spells heal up and relax. Man, that, uh, that is, that's going to be a common thing. Is gonna be like rotten. <laughs> um, let's see. But since you're a wizard, you have Arcane Recovery, which is a special ability. When do, 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 when you finish a short rest, you can choose expended spell slots to recover. You can recover. The spells have a combined level less than or equal to half your wizard level. Uh, round it up. So at first level, you can regain a one first level spell every night as a wizard. Real quick, just to explain for the audience, um, Koibu does a couple of rules a little bit uniquely. That's why, because um, a lot of people in chat are freaking out about the long rest, short rest thing. That's so we do things a little bit differently. Okay, calm down, guys. Yeah, Jeez. yeah. The there's a some rules in the DMG for variant healing that slows the game down, which is what we're doing, and then we're modifying it beyond the initial slowing down to be a little bit different uh, beyond that. So that's it. Okay, you guys pass the night. 
you can wake up in the morning. Uh, those of you that did not go off and fight can expend hit dice. Uh, and let's talk about that right now. So, Gerald, you're the, the one who's going to need that. Mm -hmm. If you look at your character sheet, in the middle of it, there should be a hit dice thing right next to death saves. Go ahead and yeah. click that hit dice text. <coughs> you regain four HP. So that puts me at seven because I had two from the good berry too. Sure. Yeah. Uh, but four and two is six. Oh, um, so you it also, is. Yeah, you also no gain a hit die. Too because, good at math. You gain a hit die because you rested. So you still, you can expend one before you gain one if you want. And then you'll have one left that you can expend again right now if you want to, or you can wait to use it until later. But um, it won't really, you, you can only expend them after short rests anyway. So might as well use it now. Okay, I'll do that. All right. Spend another. There you go. Full HP. You have zero out of pass. Uh, anything? It's the next day. It's awake. You all guys right. are all happy and Ooh. hunky dory. I think I'm pretty much rolled up, by the way. Just very knowledge. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, I gotta do my bio. Just says I'm sorry. Uh, we need a 12 a... page backstory. <laughs> okay. So when you say a Chad barbarian, that just means your name is Chad. Chad is not like a special. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. His name is Chad. Okay. Yeah, his name's Chad Barbo. Beautiful. I look forward to meeting Chad. All right. The rest of the party can continue adventuring the next day. You're gonna make it to the next town over. Uh, this is the town of Grumpburn. Kind of a weird name. Uh, and it's right at the edge of the Crawlog Ridge. <clears throat> now, you know that crossing the ridge is more or less a full day of hiking. Uh, and it's probably um, not a wise idea to sleep on that road. because it is... Yes? Sorry to interrupt, but I just want to make sure that before we broke camp that I wanted to do a ritual for my familiar, which is an owl. So it just kind of like hangs around. <laughs> sure. Are you using the uh, Find Familiar spell? Yes. Okay. The Find Familiar spell has some... Um... Uh, requirements, 10 GP worth of charcoal, incense, and herbs that must be consumed by a fire in a brass brazier. So you're going to want to... Do you have 10 GP worth of charcoal, incense, and herbs on you? I don't know. Um, I, I don't have, know. like, a scholar's pack, so if that counts, but... No. What you're going to want to do is go to a town and purchase the supplies for this ritual. Okay. All right, then yeah. we'll skip that. Yeah, thanks. Cool. Uh, well, you're in town now. Do you have 10 GP? If so, you can go ahead and buy this shit. Uh, no, I only have eight. Do you want to borrow some from someone? Yes. I look to my party members. Um, I don't even and... make eye contact. <laughs> um, if you're looking see. for extra gold, perhaps you could go back to the corpse of our friend and find someone his body. That's so mean. I ask, wait, how much gold do you need? Oh, my friends, my friends, only a little bit of money. I don't mean to sound funny. Two gold pieces shall do. He's asking you for 200 bucks. I okay. reach in my pocket and oh. procure two gold and hand it to the gnome. Here oh, is your friend. gold. Um, may our friendship grow old. I speak oh. in his language to you know, improve our relationship. I'm amazed. <laughs> I shall, my friend, and I will always attend to you. Got it. All right. It's hard on the fly, guys. Here we go. <laughs> okay, so now I can buy the, the, the 10, right? I can buy the ritual stuff? Yeah, you head to a small little wizard's shop. It's a, disguised as an alchemist shop here with all sorts of things. And they even have a, a brass brazier running in the, there's like a little back room. This is a common ritual that people do. So you can summon your familiar. Did you say it was an owl? It is. Okay. Your familiar acts independently of you, but it always obeys your commands. In combat, it rolls its own initiative and acts on its own turn. The familiar cannot attack, but it can make other actions as normal. When it drops to zero HP, it disappears, leaving behind no physical form, and it will reappear again when you cast the spell. Okay. Sounds good. You have an owl. What are you going to name it? Uh, give me some time. I'll figure it out. Okay, cool. Can we, uh, is there like a local um, police officer, or soldier, or something where we can check and see if these guys are wanted or anything? There is indeed a sheriff's station here in town. 
Yeah. Yeah, let's walk okay. them in. All we, right, uh, you walk them in. You bring these guys in on a leash. The sheriff kind of looks up and blinks a few times, puts down the chicken leg he was eating, and says, Well, 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 who do we have here? The Huffschmidt gang. I've been looking for you boys for a long time. Did you uh, happen to see some others with them? Yeah, we uh, take out the uh, bag and I guess just set it on the counter. He opens the sopping bag and smiles broadly. Boys, you've done me a big favor. Thank you so much. Uh, there is a bounty out for these suckers. Uh, let me go take a look. And he pulls a poster off the wall and heads into a room to start collecting some gold coins for you while the other uh, deputies come over with their weapons in hand and start moving the, the two prisoners away from you and roughing them up a little bit before tossing them in some cells. Uh, the, sheriff comes, the sheriff comes back and says, thank you, thank you all. Uh, these suckers have been causing problems along the road for months now, harassing innocent people left and right. How'd you do it? Well, it was not easy. One of our companions fell fighting these rogues. We honor his memory by continuing our quest and bringing these individuals to justice. Good. You know, maybe I misjudged you, Seelan. You really surprised me these past couple days. Well, the leader there, he's got himself a uh, 500, sorry, 5,000 copper bounty. And uh, each of his associates has a 500 copper bounty. So I count seven of them and one of him. Math was never my good suit. How much is that? Sounds like 25,000 copper to me. Can I roll persuasion on that? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> 25,000. That's a funny one. You're a funny one. Uh, he counts out some things and will give you uh, 50 gold and 35 silver. Is that all day or for each of us? He hands it to whoever delivered the people to him first. Okay, I will you definitely are... take that. Yes. I will right, hold on to that. 50 gold, 35 silver. <laughs> in your hands. Do you guys have like a lost and found post here? Anybody that reports missing items or anything of the sort? Uh, occasionally. I mean, we'll hold on to something if it's gone missing. What's up? Do you find a property on these people? Yeah, they had a lock box. We weren't sure what was inside, but we found a yeah a box inside the camp, a key that probably goes to it. Well, let's open it up. Okay, I hand it over. Uh, he takes it. Puts the key in, it pops open. It's just got assorted gold, silver, and copper coins. Mm, looks like their bounty. Well, mm. Mm. glad we could, uh, I... please, good sheriff, make sure all this money goes back to its proper owners, anyone who claimed that they've been robbed by this band of rogues. We want to see them, you know, justly repaid. Or if not, I'm sure you could do a lot of good with that gold in this town. I'm sure the people here need it more than we do. Definitely. Oh, I, I appreciate your honesty. A lesser man would have taken it and run. Uh, mm -hmm. You're good folks. What did you say your names were? My name's Locke. Uh, I am uh, Seelan. You're Seelan? It's nice to meet you, Seelan. You're a good man. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I try my best. Are you the, the leader of this little expedition? Uh, there are no leaders. We are all equal and now married. You're communists, huh? Does that form it's of government right. exist in this land? It's Would we understand that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, there are small local communes. You suspect that... Oh, Dwala? What was his name? He's dead already. Uh, Alka. 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 <laughs> you suspect Alka was from one of these communes, but you have no evidence to prove it. Well, it's all right. We we accept all kinds here. Uh, my name is Lyle, Lyle Huffschmid. Pleasure to meet you. If you ever need anything, uh, do come on by. It's always good to meet honest folk. I uh, clasp my hand together and bow my head. Thank you. I want to walk up to Locke. Now, now, I demand my share of the gold, creep. I felled one of the bandits with my sleep. Um... That's true. I hand him. I, I take you out five what? gold pieces and I hand it to him and I say, "A fair day's wage for a fair day's work." 
and then I throw uh, five more at uh, Midori, and then I give mm -hmm. um, 20 to um, uh, Seelin. So that's 20, 20, five, and five. I uh, tell you to... Was it 50 that we got all together, one. right? Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I say, uh, please do not give me the gold. I would like you to donate it to Alka's family so that their suffering can be eased. I have no idea how to contact the family of a, of a forest hippie. Do you have any idea where we could find these people? <laughs> uh, okay. I'll, I take it from him and say, let me handle that. I will seek out the, his family after this adventure. And I pocket it. Okay. I'm going to give the so two gold back to C. Lin. Um, oh, my friend, C. Lin, I see you can rhyme for the win. <laughs> um. Is there anything? Um, is there anything in town that we could purchase that would be uh, helpful to us? How many? How many more before sleep? Or are you? What? What? Oh, sorry, Norman. Uh, I think that was to Koibu. I didn't hear it. What was um, it? Is there is there anything of value that we could purchase here? Like plus one swords and all of that. That's always going to be like magical items that you can never buy, right? Um, yeah. I used my rope on this person. Could I could I buy like what would a hundred feet of rope cost me or whatever? Uh, I mean, he you have the rope. The sheriff gives it back to you, so you still have your rope. Oh, what a kind you man. Could, okay. Yeah, you can buy more rope if you'd like. Can I buy spell slots? You cannot buy spell slots. Those are only recovered through rest. Oh, jeez, I'm useless. And then no potion shop or anything like that around here, correct? No. Anything that is magical, you will have to find. Uh, more rope. It's one gold for 50 feet. Um, I'll, You know what? I'll buy, um, I'll buy four 50 feet things of rope, so I should have five now, and then I'll subtract that yep. from my... Yep. All right. Do you, um, we'll... do you care about in encumberedness? Are we worrying about oh, that? Oh, absolutely. fucking lootly Yeah, we... Interesting. Uh, okay. Um, well, I've been encumbered, you... and now I'm heavily encumbered, so... <laughs> I, I was mentally tracking your encumbrance. I was going to try and roll out the rules bit by bit as we came into them. So heavily encumbered is going to produce problems. You may want to avoid that, actually. Uh, let's see if we can dig up the rules on heavily encumbered. <clears throat> um, okay, hold on. I'm taking one gold piece back. So 33 now, and I will have four rope instead. And that just puts me at uncovered now. How about that? Perfect. That said, it should be 200 feet of rope, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm ready to continue on. How how uh, time sensitive is this quest? I mean, she's dead, right? It's a corpse. She's <laughs> not going to rot any further. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, I look at the weariness on our spellcasters' faces, and I suggest <laughs> our friends are weak and tired. Perhaps it's a good idea to rest for, for them seven to rest days. for an appropriate amount of time, so that they can recover their magical abilities. That might be useful. The only question is, in seven days, will whatever signs of what has happened to this shipment be gone? You know, <sighs> certainly the woman's not going to die, but you might. The last I checked, Midori was holding a mace over there. I don't think these people are worthless in combat. Let's continue on. We can carry them if we need to. If we spring for like a very lavish hotel, can we rest for a short amount of time? You can rest in a lavish hotel for as long as you would like. I think he's for asking like if we can use gold abilities. to bypass the long rest. No, you cannot buy extra rest with gold. Can I upgrade my uh, mace or something or anything? Or no, that generally won't happen. Your gear is your gear. Mm -hmm. My uh, gear is my gear. Yeah. Okay. All right, onwards, friend. Onwards. If we must. We must. Uh, do you guys want to... Are there any questions that you would like to ask in Grumpburn regarding your investigation into what happened to Can uh, I... Buck? Oh. Oh, could, could we have asked the um, return to the garrison and ask him if he had heard yeah. anything? Sure. Did Can you... I also buy uh, medicine or something here? No, he said no uh, potions ever. There's no potions. No potions. You could buy a medical kit. A medical kit will allow you to stabilize people without having to make a, a roll for it. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, I'll buy one of those. Right? That's a thing. That's, I'm not making that up, right? How much is that? Healer's kit has 10 uses. As an action, you can use a... Da -da -da to stabilize. A healer's kit is five gold pieces or 500 copper 
Okay. The five gold that Locke gave me, I'm just gonna use it to buy a healing kit. Wonderful. I didn't give you that gold, you earned it. Well, thank you so much, Locke. Well, let's add a healer's kit to the character sheet. So anytime you want to stabilize a person to prevent them from dying, um, you can just use the healer's kit instead of a spell or instead of an, uh, a check, and you will be fine. Because I see her walking out of the store. <clears throat> Isn't that healer's kit a waste of gold for you? Shouldn't you be buying a better pillow? I'm going to choose to ignore your snide comment because I want to get along, okay? Keyboy, lock, dude. Nice I hope one away. day you look upon your party as fondly as you do your next glass of wine. My but friends, my friends, this I fighter think thinks he's slick, but in reality, he's quite a dick. Leave us alone and make I'm already walking to the garrison, I can't hear. We Officer! need to talk to the guy about the I investigation. Him, but tears right. in my eyes as I think about Alka. Okay, what is the guy saying? Uh, so you get back to the sheriff's station, there's Sheriff Lyle. He sees you, asks what's going on, you explain the situation. Uh, he says that if you're sticking around for the day, he'll ask all of his people as they check in if any of them have seen Buck. He is a known figure that travels through towns all the time. Uh, you know, he's got a guitar. He'll play it. He's got two donkeys that he's pretty fond of, a little wagon that he sleeps in. I personally haven't seen, seen him, but um, by the end of the day, all my folks will have reported in. I'll know if he's come through here or not. Uh, are you sticking around till tomorrow morning at least? Yeah, we can if we need uh, to. Yeah, we can take a short rest, one day's rest. Excellent. I uh, recommend not staying in the Mudslinger. That's a terrible tavern. Stay away from it if you can. Terrible in what way? Uh, I mean, they call it a Mudslinger for a reason. It's right near uh, kind of some outhouses in the area, and the ground it gets a little wet, and people keep tracking in mud, and I'm pretty sure that mud is mixed with urine, so yeah. stay away from the Mudslinger. Okay. Understood. Thank you. Yeah. Mm, we look for another tavern in the town. Is there another one? Yeah, there are two. There's a fairly nice tavern uh, that's called the King's Crest. And you're going to know, just by looking at it, it's going to be a little pricey. And then there's sort of the, the middle of the road place. Uh, it's called Jack's. Jack Tavern. And I Jack's. motion towards Jack's and say, my friends, this does not look like a suitable lodging for the evening. Yeah, I'm down with whatever. Alright. I uh, make my way inside and ask the, the innkeeper, Good sir, how much is it for two rooms tonight? With food? Uh, Twelve silver. It's the equivalent of like $120? Is that... 120 bucks for two rooms for the night? Yeah. <clears throat> How are I think we... that's a very fair price. How are we splitting the rooms? I say, worry not. I shall dip into my own savings to cover our uh, lodgings for a night. No, I mean like two people per room? Oh. <laughs> um, well, my lady, I specifically got a room extra just for you as you are off. A uh, more delicate gender and should not live with us. What a wow, see nice. Lynn, what a talker! I'm down. All right, thank you. Where's my room? I'm kind of towering over here, kind of like looking in the background. I see no ladies here. I slowly remove my bagpipes. I'm going to ignore the pretentious. Am I allowed to curse? No, right? Yeah, let it loose. Pretentious asshole in the background. <laughs> And I'm going to retreat to my room. Where is it? At, in Jack's in a tavern. It's upstairs on the left, fourth one down. All right. Well, gentlemen, have a good night. I'm going to drink myself to sleep over the loss of our dearest companion, Aqua. And then I just run to my room. As she leaves, I lean over and talk to the uh, owner of the inn or whatever. Our friend here is a recovering alcoholic. Please don't give in to any of her temptations <laughs> and serve her tonight. Thank you. Uh, sorry, if she's gonna order a drink, I'm definitely gonna take her money. All right, I flip him one gold piece and I tell him don't don't serve her. Okay. I will nice. not serve her. Okay, subtract <laughs> it. All right. <laughs> All right, you guys bed down for the night. 
Uh, you awaken in the morning. And Can come I use on the down. Die? Yes, you may if you right. are wounded. Ooh. Perfect. Okay. Um, and you recover one at night as well, so you should have it back. Uh, so you come on downstairs for breakfast in the morning, and there's a uh, there's a guy there hanging out downstairs. A big guy. And he looks like his name is Chad. He's got that, that like spray tan, made up hair look. His collar is like slightly popped, but not too popped. Um, I'm got, arguing like, at the barkeep. This isn't the beer I asked for, Tanner. Where is it? Where's the I'm, good bead? I'm sorry. This is all we have. All right. I grab it's, him by the scruff. Hey, hey, now, hey, hey, look. Hey, the, the, you know I need good mead. I don't come here. Of all places for the shitty bean. I'm Chad. Uh, Chad Barbo. Okay? <laughs> Look at my mermaid tattoo on my right arm. Does this say shit mead? Look. It doesn't. No. no, it does not, Tanner. It does not. I let you go. Now give me it. But you gotta pay for it this time. I'm not paying. Next time. Okay, we kind Next of time. Are, we're kind of like filling into the to the breakfast area. Is there a problem yeah. here? Chad Barbo, your name was? Are you having a problem with the uh, service here? Nah, just talking to my friend Tanner. What's your name, bruh? My name's Locke, and I'm wondering why you're threatening this poor bar's mead. What do you call him? Barkeeper? Whatever? You don't even know what he is? To be fair, their service is a little lackluster. I tried to Tanner. get alcohol all night. Tanner, can you night. believe this guy? Am I threatening you? A little bit, yes, actually. Uh, <sighs> could you please help me? I I'm unarmed. I'm unarmed, and he's threatening me. Fine, here, I'll pay for my last two times, and I'll pull out. How much is a person like drink? Uh, I don't know. How big of a tab have you racked up at this place? Oh man, uh, barbarian seems like he would drink a lot. It's probably a pretty he big would, tab. He yeah. would, yeah. So. It's probably like hundreds of silver. Of All right, I think you empty out your pockets. That's fine. Uh, of your catch, and he takes it, and will give you a glass of the really nice mead. But like your debt is, it's minor now. It's there, but it's minor. It's still, it's still there. Yeah. Uh, so he'll give you a glass of the really nice mead at like seven in the morning. Um, Thank you, Tanner. I'll go my and sit pleasure, down. My pleasure. <sighs> um, so I look over to Luck. So what are you folks up to? Uh, I'm not sure. We were supposed to talk to the garrison captain today to figure out. We're, we're trying to figure out. We, they were reporting something in the morning. Wait, why do we stay here again? For that exact yeah, reason. yeah, yep, yeah. So we're waiting for. Um, Waiting for word from the garrison captain. We're trying to track down some corpse robber, I guess. No chance you've heard anything about this, have you? No, but seeing that I'm out of money, I think I'll tag along with you folks. I don't know if we need two drunkards in one party. Listen. Do I look like a drunkard? I don't. I'm still useful with alcohol in my blood, okay? Even with this one drink in me, I guarantee I could beat you in an arm wrestling contest, you know Locke. Chad, is that your name, Chad? Yeah, Chad, Chad, Chad Barbo. We would gladly have you in our party. See, we lost a friend. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, I'm confident, Chad. Chad, how about this? You can tag along with us. I'll arm wrestle you. If I win, you have to work your next job for us for free. If you sure. win, I'll give you my share of the pay. That oh. sounds good. I'm confident. It's an athletics down. check. That's strength. All right. I, I can make an Is athletics check, strength? right? Yeah. And I can make strength? Uh, you're... I mean, just make the same check against each other. Sure, I'll do that. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh! It's a uh. tie. It's that even sort of deadlock, and after the teeth gritting for a little while, Tanner comes on over and puts down a, a, a small glass of mead in front of each of you and says, Boys, boys, you're evenly matched. Just call it a draw. Here, here's a glass on the house. I can yeah, respect this man. Strength, yeah, if he wants yeah. to tag along, I, we could always use we could always use some help. As someone who is an excellent judge of character, remember when I figured out those brigands were up to no good and that they would come after us later. Remember that. Uh, I can soundly say that this barbarian is of noble heart and will make a great companion. And I put my hand on his shoulder. It's moving. Don't. I agree. Me. Another friend is always good in the end. Slap him off. <laughs> All right. Should we head to the garrison and stop wasting time here? Uh, yeah. You head over to the sheriff's station, and there's Sheriff Lyle again. Lyle Hutchman, hanging out. He sees you come in and goes, "Ah, you're back." <laughs> Sup, uh, Lyle. <laughs> hello. 
Um, no, no one has seen uh, Buck in a while. Maybe a couple of weeks. Definitely hasn't come through here. Well, I'm glad we wasted our time at the end. Um, oh, I don't say that to him, though. Thank you very much for your information. Perhaps we should just carry forward. Uh, good luck on your mission. Thank you very uh, much. Should I leave a... Do you have a message you'd like me to give to him? Yeah, show him this. <laughs> and then he flexes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just wave. Yeah, that, I guess. All right, let's go. I'm oh, wait, what what race is this barbarian? Very human. Very human. Okay. Same thing as last time, right? Yeah. Uh-oh. It's a Chad race. <laughs> Weird flex, right. but okay. Uh, you guys head on down the road, right? Yep. Yep. Finally. Yeah. Two hours later, we're on the road. Do, 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 do. That's a mighty fine sword there you have, Locke. What do you name it? I don't name my weapons. <laughs> my sword, or my great axe, named Schlompy. Schlompy? <laughs> yeah, me and Schlompy, we've been around a long time, and we be stomping. Do you lack so much company in real life? You have to give name to the objects you carry with you? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Chad. Lock is, um, you know, like that. Yes, our friend thinks he's quite slick, but in fact, he's a totally a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Funny gnome, like you. All right, so you are heading on through the this uh, the hills here, and what is your marching order? For most of the way, it's going to be like a single file trail or road through the, the hills. So, what order do you guys walk in? Chad always walks first. All right, I'm in the back. I'm even further back than that. I'll be right behind right. Chad. <laughs> okay, so it's going to go Chad, Locke, Midori. Seelin Gerald? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. So you are heading through here. Um, do, do, do. Minding your own business. Chad, have you updated all your stats and everything? Yes, everything should be good to go. Fantastic. Reading quickly through here. La. Uh, you are walking through the the pass when, sort of out of nowhere, there is the twang of bowstrings. Um, advantage. What is your AC, Chad? Fifteen. Okay. Ooh, I think that is a miss. Uh, it definitely is. There's an arrow that like hits Chad right in his. Are you wearing armor? Nope. Nope. All right. So they don't like rock hard. Packs. Yeah, it just like glances off of off your the abs. Packs, dude. Mm -hmm. um, another shot that gets fired at Locke, which is god awful, a terrible miss, and the last shot that goes straight for Gerald in the back, which is, of course, that is the critical hit on Gerald. <laughs> oh Ooh. no! Boy, boy. <laughs> the sharpshooter. Gerald, you're, uh, you're you're giving me a hard time, man. I'm sorry, the dice do with the dice do, my friend. What did I take? Um, uh... <laughs> you think like you 12 want damage. damage? Yeah. How much? 12? Uh, 12. I'm yeah, dead. It's, a, it's a critical hit for 12. <laughs> Gerald I'm immediately dead. drops to 0 HP. We're going to oh, move over like to our battle map here. here. As hey, I watch Gerald drop going, behind me, boy. I scream to Midori, look! I rage. An opportunity right. to flee. What we see what? here... Is this really? The time, you giant dick! Uh, okay. You're walking through this mountain pass. These arrows have twinged off of you. There are three hobgoblins that kind of peer over the edge, firing these shots, and immediately shout out, Lay down your arms and surrender! At the same time as a bunch of goblins jump, like, slide down these rocks out of hiding um, to in front of you. Ooh. You have been caught in an ambush by hobgoblins. And goblins. Oh, boy. Um, you have a brief moment in which to surrender before they will roll initiative and just fucking murder everything. Um, when you say, uh, 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 sorry, when I, when I if I, to climb this mountain, I would take a movement penalty, right? 
Uh, you move at half speed. It's a twenty foot cliff. Half speed. It's a twenty foot cliff. So can yes, I get so close? Basically, what I, sorry, go ahead. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, was can gonna I get say, close enough to him to attack? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. He's 20 feet up. It'll yep. take an acrobatics check or athletics or acrobatics check to climb it. Um, so you could climb up the cliff and then attack him from up there, but you can't attack him while climbing with a pole arm, which takes two hands. You know what I mean? Sure. I would never lay down my weapons before a bandit of whatever you guys are. I step forward right. into the guy. Oh, wait, no, I can't. I have to roll for initiative. I'm ready. Right. So Locke is not surrendering. Chad, nope. are you surrendering? Oh, oh. So uh, can I ask a question? Oh. Yes, quickly. Knowing how, like, knowing I've been traveling and stuff, would I think that I could win this fight with Locke, or is this a impossible task? Fuck, dude, task, that is... Dude? It is borderline. There are hobgoblins that are out of range with bows and a shit ton of goblins in front of you. Like, this is a good number of people. This, this I... could be the end of your life. Hey, Locke, it's time to chill. Can I also raise my hands in surrender and plead with them? Can I at least go save Gerald, our fallen comrade? They will answer yes, but first I want to hear what Seelan says. What do you do, Seelan? I drop my spear. All right. Are you Seelan serious? Your spear. Chad chills, Midori surrenders, uh, the hobgoblins nod to you, saying that you can go uh, patch Gerald, and the goblins will move up and start to take whatever weapons you've dropped. Locke, you see everyone drops their stuff and surrenders immediately. Are you going to fight this alone? Can I see how many people are on the cliff? I see two hobgoblins. Uh, there were definitely three shots, so there's at least one more hiding up there. Three shots. Yeah. Uh, I am very irritated, and I throw my uh, halberd to the ground. I drop my javelin. <sighs> I drop my right. miss. You guys surrender. Oh. Why don't we take a break here, actually, if you don't mind. I, I'll need a little bit of time to set some stuff up. All right. Cool. Uh, All right. How many uses do healer kits have? Ten. Ten. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me know when we're at break. Oh, sure. Yeah, I'll do that. I'm sorry. I was just very upset at surrendering. Yep. 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 What? There you are. All right. Welcome back to Gnomes, Tomes, and Catacombs, everyone. Uh, our party is kidnapped by hobgoblins. You are currently in their camp inside of this tent that you see right up here. Um, also in this tent kidnapped with you is a halfling. It is Buck. You are definitely 100% sure it's Buck because as soon as you guys are thrown in, he takes a look at you all and goes, I'm Buck, who are you? <laughs> I'm Chad Barbo. Sup. Sup. Uh, you are all tied with rope and bound. Your weapons and armor and all of your gear has been removed from you. And when you came in, you saw that they just like tossed all of your shit in this other tent over here uh, to the left. Um, you currently see three hobgoblins and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight goblins here. Although the ones that brought you here have that sense like left to go back to their their ambush spot. Um, so this is where you are, tied up with no weapons or armor or gear. Good day. Hum, 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 hum. So I guess this is what it was like for you guys before when we were doing all the work, huh? Feels pretty Does shitty if really I do say so not myself. The time lock to instigate an argument. It's very. <clears throat> really, what is it the time for then? We should be focused on trying to get out of here because we're all tied up in some goblin lair. God knows what. Okay, focus. Get us out of here. All right, let's see. What can we do? All right, lock. Get us out of here. Come over here. I'll bite the rope off. <laughs> As you guys are, are chatting, uh, one of the hobgoblins comes over, pokes his head inside, and goes, "Hey." You know I speak your language and I can hear everything you're saying. Get over here, you. And he grabs some rope and like puts some rope through your teeth and ties it behind your head. Who? And then says, Chad's. Okay. And which one of you have useful skills? Any of you a smith? Mm -hmm. I'll like wiggle. Compared to a goblin, no. any skill we have is going to be useful. He meant useless. Mm-hmm. I see. Compared to you guys, you know, we're... Are you Ideal plus, goblin you know? friend. I can Are bring you... some hype with my bagpipes. Uh, all right. We need a musician. 
Uh, he goes and like drags you by the collar uh, over to here. You're stabilized and conscious. You're basically like you're at you're at zero, but you can move around a little bit. But you know, a good slap to the face will knock you out. Stable. Got he it. comes over, unties you, hands you your bagpipes. Excellent. Let's see what you got. Oh shit! Oh, <laughs> I, just, I begin to play my bagpipes. <laughs> <laughs> no! oh, God. It's his injuries, he, man. He takes the bagpipes from your arms, walks over to the edge of the, the mountain, and just hurls them off. I start crying. He comes back and ties you up and throws you in and says, <laughs> Now I know you're all stupid, but we speak Trachisian and Eridonian common and Hobgoblinoid, so. Shut the fuck up. We can understand you. And he leaves. If we talk really quietly, can they hear us? You <laughs> don't know if they can hear you or not. He'll be listening, definitely. But uh, whether or not he hears you is up to you. Did he rob you of your bagpipes, little one? I've lost everything. Never thought I'd see the day where I'd applauded the actions of a thief. <laughs> how, how are we binded, like, with the rope? Is our hand binded? Is our uh, your hands are tied behind your back, like crosswise, like this, um, about at mid back. Your mm -hmm. ankles and knees are bound together. Um, and then there's another one that goes across your biceps and across your chest. Did they so, fully search our body for like. Uh, they patted issues? you down. What do you have on you that they might have Remember missed? Remember that uh, dagger I stole with my stealth of hands from the first battle? I was wondering it if it's not. It was still that. in your pants? Uh, Is yeah, I kept like it there. Dance dagger? Yeah, after stabbing the, you know. I will give you a, a sleight of hands at disadvantage. See if you could have kept it from them while they search you. Okay. Because um, it was already in your pants, so all you got to do is make sure they don't search your pants well. That's oh, there's a lot of room down there. <laughs> That's <laughs> not a good sign. <laughs> That's the <me>. TSA. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Holy oh, shit! There's a lot they... of room down there. You are very dedicated to hiding dick-shaped <laughs> objects in your pants. There is Congratulations. almost nothing in your pants. So what happened is the, the hobgoblin was patting you down and goes like tap, tap on the dagger and shrugs and just keeps going, thinking it's something else. Um, so you have a, a dick dagger? I don't know what to call this thing, but it's in your pants. A dick dagger? Micro C Lynn. <laughs> All right, because my hand is bounded behind me, I can't reach inside of myself. <laughs> Someone, someone's gonna. Oh so I can't just like. This is D and D after my dark eyes to try and catch someone's attention and like. Him and Locke look in the eyes. Yeah, I'm like you know, mm, mm, and I'm trying to make the outline of the dick dagger very obvious against my pants leg. Dude, says Buck, we are tied up, and you're asking for this now. <laughs> I shake my head. C. Lin, Dude, C. Lin is a good man. He must have something going on in there. Oh shit, we have to keep our voices down. How do we? How do we? What is he doing? He's just kind of thrusting his head. Do you, do you think he wants us to do something to his pelvic region? Okay, can I like start to squirm over so that the back of my body is snuggled closely alongside my good friend C. Lin? Yeah, so Seelin can turn, so he's facing you. Locke can turn, and slowly sitting spoon with Seelin. Hot. Okay, I very slowly reach in and hopefully grab for the dagger. I'm not gonna roll for this. I just will take the dagger from his pants. And, I think um... you should roll. <laughs> I think you should roll. I think you should roll for what he grabs. I think this is the most important roll we've had yet, actually. Roll. Roll. Is this an athletics check? Hand? Side of hands, man. Okay, that's you a good. Get the dagger. Yeah, we grab the dagger. Get it by its hilt. Okay. Um, our hands are bound behind us. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, as I pull it out, I imagine he would have to roll onto his back, and then I would begin to cut the rope around his wrist. Uh, or onto roll his, on his belly. On his belly, yeah. yeah. And then I would cut, yeah. All right. Okay. So. So you set to work quietly trying to do this. I want you to make me a stealth check for how quietly you guys can do all of this. If you decide you don't want to, that's fine. Wait. Okay. It's actually, what I check. I want to go ahead and give the dagger to uh, to him to do it. I trust him to do it better than I could. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay. So I do a stealth check. All right. Here we go. Yep. Can I? Can I? Wait. Wait. 
Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait. sorry, sorry. All right, let's go. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. What, what's up? Go for it, Midori. I was gonna ask, I have the blessing of the trickster, right? Can I touch Steelin to give the advantage on the stealth check? Yes, you can. That mm. was exactly what blessing of the trickster's for. It's a okay. fantastic ability. That's a 20 in there, then. Nice. Yeah. You're quite quiet. For reference, just so you guys know, a fail in the situation wouldn't have mean immediate notice. It would have meant noticed at some point in time during this. And with a nine, it probably would have been near the end of you guys untying yourselves, just as like a, a protocol issue so you know how I run the games. Gotcha. Okay. All right. This, you, you start cutting people free. Uh, what order do you cut them free in? I cut Locke free first. Of course. And then I cut... Uh... Chad. Surprised you just didn't fucking kill us all. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Midori's. Okay. And then uh, I helped the uh, wounded Gerald last. Okay. You leave Buck still tied up? Yeah, we should help old Buck out. We all right. And then I choose Buck as the final, final person. Excellent. So that's the order. They definitely do not pass their perception check. Uh, you get it all done easy. Oof. So, uh, as hey. you guys start untying people, Buck says, are you, are you looking for a break? Hey, Who sneaky you? guy. Do you yeah. think you can go get a look at how many people are out there? No, wait, no, um, wait. I have an owl. <clears throat> can we just, can we, can we, can we put the gnome in the yeah. back of the tent and have him like uh, cough up and pretend he's having a heart attack or something? And if a goblin comes in, we could jump him, take his weapons and then work away. That I can, look. there's a fucking I lot can... of them, man. And we're unarmored. What are you doing? Koi, can I see the owl and see what it sees? Is that possible? You can. Uh, your owl has been following you, I presume. At yes. A distance. And he's like, he's on top of the. Okay, I'm gonna do that now. I want to see like what's out there. The owl's just like chilling on the cliff, like mm -hmm. looking down at our at our tent. Yeah. So from there, you can see everything. You can see the positioning of all of these hobgoblins and goblins. There's one that's like posted near the tent, but he's occasionally chatting with these other two that are hanging out over here by this other tent. Uh, back and forth. You can't see inside any of these tents, so God knows what's in there. Um, Did you that, say you you told us where our um, like armor and like swords and stuff were, right? They tossed was... everything in this. Okay. Here. Okay, I, I explain these positions to the party very quietly in like a whisper. Um, we should have the gnome fake a, fake a disease when one hobgoblin comes in to check it. Um, our good friend uh, C. Lin here can open his throat with his blade. We'll take his weapon. We'll work our way outside, grab our armor. That seems like an excellent plan. Would that be advantage against the guy since it'd be like multiple people trying to like hold him. Like I would be trying to hold him down while Ceylon tries to stab him. If you can hold him down, he would get advantage. Advantage. Um, you can also opt to just help him by like trying to distract the hobgoblin or something. You just have yeah. to be adjacent to him. <clears throat> and uh, flanking too, right? Uh, yeah, you can only get one source of advantage. So either help him or get yeah. behind the hobgoblin. I'll just help or... him. So basically, I'm thinking we all lay on the floor. We pretend that we're still, you know, in ropes. We get our buddy to start coughing and rhymes over here and then a guy comes in and mm -hmm. then you cut his throat but wouldn't the other cop goblins notice well i hopefully only one comes in i guess <laughs> okay now here's okay. the problem about the getting into your armor getting into your armor takes a little while i just need my rounds weapon are only six seconds long okay. i just need my weapon if you just need your weapon no problem but if you want to put on your armor at bare minimum it's, it's like gonna 10 take minutes uh one minute for light five for medium ten for heavy yep yeah so it's, it's all heavy. good i don't wear armor Cool. Okay. Are we ready to go then? Uh, why don't you all position yourselves exactly where you want to be? So are we I'm able to exit this? Of... I was gonna say, can we exit? Oh, go. Yeah. The tent has doors on both front and back. They're flaps. Yeah, I'm gonna go uh, here. That open either right. way. I will like uh, stand ready at the corner. Well, wait. Should... I'm actually gonna like, go in the center here, and I'm gonna wipe all the blood on myself, and I'm gonna get ready to start. Yeah. Okay, and what is everyone looking like? You've, you've moved positions, so how are you sitting, standing, posed? So I'm sitting in the corner. I want to make sure that Chad is still biting a piece of rope in his mouth, because they did yep. rope his mouth, right? Don't forget that. Mm -hmm. And then I'm sitting in the corner with my hands behind my back or whatever. And then um, C. Lynn should be sitting with his hand behind his back with his knife drawn, right? Ready to go? I have a piece of rope behind my hand, basically like this. And like I'm going to like try to get my throat with it. Oh, I see what you're doing. Oh. Okay. Okay. I am going to start squealing very loud and rolling around. My friends, there's no denying I'm fucking dying. 
<laughs> uh, can I roll a stealth check to you go in stealth in the corner? Yeah, go ahead and give me a stealth check. Pretty good. Um, so you start screaming about dying. And at first, there's no response from the hobgoblins. <laughs> can we get a damn a doctor in here? He, the hobgoblin yeah. sort of shouts over his shoulder. If he dies, he dies. You're all going to be enslaved anyway, and we don't need a weakling. Well, at least throw right. him out. I don't want this stinking corpse in here, and I'm sure you don't either. He's infected! <laughs> ah! The hobgoblin comes on in. Uh, he pops in and starts walking over to this guy without too much of a worry, and that is when the trap is sprung. He is ambushed and surprised. Athletics? Uh, oh, no, sure. That's Oh, okay. What, I mean, what are you doing? You're trying to. I'm trying to get him by the neck with rope. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna call that actually an attack roll because you definitely want to get it on his throat, not just on. Yeah. You know, part of him. Wait, should uh, we just let we're not going like, to account can for he just his like, armor. Can he cut his throat for like an instant kill because of this trap, or does it not work that way? No, you're still gonna have to make an attack roll. Okay, you okay. need some sort of like extra. Gotcha. Um, uh, what should I be rolling? I don't have like an unarmed or anything on the character sheet. Um, it's gonna be it'll be it'll be the same attack roll as any of your weapons. Okay. All attacks are proficient, equally proficient. Um, so why don't you make your your attack? Get the yeah. rope over his threat. Holy oh. shit! The double credit roll. Oh my god. Uh, you get your rope over his neck. I just back, snap it off. Plug him right into you. You don't snap it off. Ceiling, yeah. go for your attack at advantage. All right. Here comes the stab. Shame that wasn't your actual axe. I know. Uh, even with advantage, a 10 <laughs> is right. probably not going to do it. Can I do, like, my bonus action of punching? Yes, you can. Right, punch him, then. 14? There you go. The 25, oh, 25. will definitely crack him. Uh, so he takes 7 damage from the stab. He has his breathing cut off entirely and will start suffocating immediately. Uh, now, the only question is, how much noise does he make once you guys descend on him? If you didn't kill him, he's going to make uh, pretty terribly. He actually just sort of drops his stuff, and he can't scream because the it's so tight against him. So he's just, like, kicking his legs a little bit. But I'm going to just whisper, shh, Chad's here. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Will everybody roll me initiative? Jeez. What did he? What weapon did he walk in with? What kind of weapon? The hobgoblin was carrying a longsword. Do I have to redo my initiative at all from Alka or no? It's the same character sheet. It's the same character. Yeah, same buttons, same everything. Same buttons, same everything. How does the initiative work with my owl? It's not showing no. up again. You have to select your did token. You click on your character. Oh. Oh, I see. Carbu. Uh, your owl will roll its own separate initiative. How do I do that? Or do you do it? I will give you an owl token. Ooh, what is the initiative of an owl? Why don't you just, oh, it's a d20 plus one. Just roll that and we'll set it up. So one d20 plus one? Yes, sir. This will be your owl, although it's not quite that big. It's chilling here. Uh, nine for its initiative. Fucking sorting in the wrong direction. It's fine. All right, Celine, you are. Oh yeah, the hobgoblin rolled terribly. You are first. All right. Um, I attempt to stab the hobgoblin one more time. Mhm. Mm yeah, you definitely get him this time, right between the ribs, or under the chainmail shirt, up into the gut. Six damage, and the hobgoblin comes to a stop. Did he have any uh, weapons on? Longsword. Long I'm gonna grab that. Uh, well, Locke is before you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Locke, your turn. Um, if if initiative is rolled, we're assuming that everybody's like in combat now, right? Like they're. It's just to help us with like speed. Okay, well, and you said there's a yeah, door yeah. in the back of this, and I've reasonably mm -hmm. seen where my weapons were thrown. Okay. Um, I'm going to exit this, and then I'm going to enter the other tent, and I'm going to look for my glaive. I'm going my to need you to make. I'm going to need you to make me a stealth check as you do this. <clears throat> okay. Because there is a goblin guard right there. Wouldn't it be easier if Celine went because of blood? 
Well, I'm assuming that people have heard us, so. Um. Uh. Yeah, that is way good. The goblin does not hear you going. Uh, you move at half speed, so that'll be pretty much everything that you've got to get there if you're trying to go quietly. But okay. you slip into the tent. There's your crap. There's all of Buck shit, which is like food supplies and boxes. There's a coffin in here as well. Bunch of bunch of crap. Although the coffin lid's been pried open and slightly to the side, and there's like an arm hanging out from the corpse in it. Uh, but you do see your halberd. Okay, am I um, able to reach down and pick that up? Uh, you can reach it. You have it in your hands, but it took all of your. You had to dash to get there since you're moving at half speed to go quietly. Okay. Um, so that's your turn. But you, you're equipped with your halberd, and you have access to every item in here. Uh, you can move if you would like. Another 15 feet. Um. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. That's not right, though, right? I shouldn't be able to pick my weapon up, should I? Because I used an action and a bonus action to move in here. If I was you sneaking. get one free object interaction. Just like oh. picking something up, you can do once. Okay, I thought that counted as an action. Move? Okay, cool. I won't argue with you then. Yep, I got my weapon then. That's all I want. You got pick it. it up. You're good. Yep. Midori, it's your turn. Well, what, do, what am I supposed to do? Do I follow him? <laughs> That's up to you. Um. Sure, I could get my items too, I guess. Do All I right. need to do a stealth check too? Yes, you do. Oh. <laughs> All right, you start coming out, uh, and you've got your eyes on this goblin, so he doesn't, you know, you're making sure you know where he is. When you kick a rock and it, like rolls, hits a couple other rocks, and the goblin like turns, sees you, and goes, ah! <laughs> um, uh... He shouts in Goblin further. But it's still your turn. What do you do? Oh, jeez. Come into the tent! Oh, can, geez, I still, Rick. can I still try to run into the tent? To totally. get my stuff? Yeah! Alright, you bolt into the tent. You find your mace sitting right next to the rest of your gear. And it's uh, Gerald's turn. Do you have some movement if you'd like, Midori? Um, Gerald? No. Yep. You okay. are so badly wounded that you can't really do much, and I apologize that you've been screwed so badly in the first <laughs> session over and over again, but it had At to happen. This is a character. Yeah, you're not dead. Uh, you can't really act or do anything, so, uh, you know. Sorry, sorry you just sorry. telling me to pass my turn? Yeah, but your owl can chill, and you can communicate telepathically with your owl. Is there no way I could do a verbal or somatic spell? Like a total no, dead? No, you're, like you're at zero. You're barely conscious. You Wait. have not really been raised to one. Why is... Oh, because he was only stabilized. I was stabilized was by... Stabilized. I see. That only brings you out of your death things? It doesn't even kill you at a one HP? It doesn't um, bring you to one HP. Maybe after a few hours you get back to one HP. I think it's like D4 hours, but we have not transpired that amount of time. He's only awake so that you guys aren't just talking to an unconscious person forever, you know? <laughs> so, so why did, so one question is that why wouldn't the transition to the camp when we were held prisoner, was there, was there enough time to be that, be considered a rest? No. Okay, so that, 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 whatever amount of time passed between when we were captured and we reached the camp, I'm still. Uh, yeah, it was about 15 yeah. minutes to the camp and then you okay. guys have been here for maybe half an hour. So Got it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm gonna send the owl to fly in and do a help action on uh, Locke. Okay. And then fly out. What does that help me with? Uh, anything for your next turn. You should get advantage on your attack. Ooh. Mm, yeah, so the owl is gonna come and harass whoever it is that Locke is attacking, basically. Yes. Um, yeah. So you're going to have to tell it to go harass something because it can ready an action to help, but it can't move. It can't ready an action to move and help. So get it near whoever it is that you want it to fuck with. So um, I'll just I'll just put it near walk or I can't I can't move the owl myself. It looks like. Oh, you can't. Oh, yeah, you I, can. think I, yeah. I think I yeah. I think I thought I gave you permission to move it. No, I didn't. There you go. Now it's your owl. Now you can touch it. Uh, still can't. No. Now you can play with it. You, you sure? You're using the arrow? Um, instead oh, of okay. intellectual. 
Nice. Okay. So if I put it near lock, like here, would I, would that be able to help him when yeah. he attacks that goblin? Yes. Now it can okay. help lock with that ready action. Oh, That's the right point. There. No, no, no. Yeah. Gotta be next to the goblin to help him. Yep. If he's attacking the goblin or whatever. Yeah. Uh, okay. Alka is Chad. Chad Barbo. Chad All Barbo. right. I'm going to pick up this sword. Mm -hmm. I'm going to rage. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to look at Seelin as I'm running over here and say, it's go time, baby, and like point for him to come this way with me. Uh huh. And I'm going to attack the hobgoblin in front of me. All right. The hobgoblin is surprised by all of this stuff. It is still the surprise round. Go for it. What is that? It is a 19 is definitely a hit on the go hobgoblin. Ooh, roll me some damage. Is that 17 at the roll? That is the roll, yes, good call. Uh, the hobgoblin immediately dies. I yeah. chop his fucking head off, dude, and say, it's Chetty. <laughs> <laughs> that hobgoblin's dead. All right, remaining enemies are going to roll for initiative, and we're gonna see what's up. And it was a great sword that I picked up, yeah? No, a long sword. A long sword? Sorry. Oh, did you roll damage. different damage? Yeah, maybe. Uh, it should not have been 1d12. It should have been 1d8. Uh, roll me just a d8, and we'll math the difference. Because you, your d12 rolled an 11. Yeah. The 3, so we're going to do 8 damage less. So I only fix it on my sheet. So 9 to the hobgoblin, who is actually alive yep. and not dead. Okay, and then he will add to the initiative. No. Sweet. All right, all the enemies are alerted to all the things. First one to go is little goblin down here, and he's going to make his way back to camp, which is actually a bit of a way for the goblin. He can only get this far. Uh, next goblin doing the same thing. Running on in. Seelin, it is your turn. I move towards the injured hobgoblin. Can I move him here? It's still within 20 Uh, That's like on the cliff. You can find spot near Chad. Chad can shift slightly to allow yeah. you to fight and, him. Yeah. Sorry, two handing a longsword, is that a d10? Yes. Were you going to two hand it? Yeah, uh, yeah, it was. <laughs> sorry. I, I, we right, have roll one roll. more time. I'll add it for the next one. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. okay. We'll just add it on the next one. Kick him out. Sure. So does this give me flanking, even though we're not like... Uh, no, you've got to be on opposite sides. All right. Yeah, Can I get on the mountain if I roll an acrobatic? Yes, I will allow an acrobatics check. Thank you, sir. You fail. You try and do like a wall run up the mountainside and just like slip and fall. Oh. Um, you take no damage, but everyone sees it and it's embarrassing. <laughs> Continue. All right, uh, I stab uh, the hobgoblin with my fist. Go for it. Uh, give me an unarmed strike. Ooh. Ooh. Boom, Hobgoblin goes down. And like, that's I, it. I don't want to remove the token, but he's gone. Yeah. Uh, you still have your bonus action, right? Ooh. And you've what? only used 15, 16 feet of your 25 movement. Oh, hmm. I move towards the other Hobgoblin and I Punch him in the face, too. All right, go for it. Wow! 16 is not a hit. Okay. Um, it is just a... Clatters off. The next goblin goes. Goblin, goblin. Goblin, goblin. Next one goes. Here's the commotion. This goblin's going to stay and watch guard. The lock is next. Um, I will take a poke out at my goblin friend over here with my... And the owl will use a help action. Yep, owl helps you. You have advantage. You still miss. Oof. All right, I will use my bonus action. I tried. That one is a hit. That will definitely crack the goblin on the side of the face. Uh, it'll take six damage and be wounded. You can see their HP bars, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Good. Midori, you've got I an ace. Talk. Wait, I can still use that sacred flame, right? Yes. All right, I want to use that. On who? 
The sorry, the goblin right in front of Locke. Excellent. He will need to make a dexterity saving throw, which he fails and takes four damage as a flame-like radiance descends upon him from the heavens itself. Uh, next up is the hobgoblin over here. This guy's got to go to the back. And uh, he's definitely just going to turn and attack Seelin with a three, and three is six. He misses entirely. Uh, Gerald, you can roll over if you would like. Uh, yeah, that's good. Um, okay. But I'm, I'm also going to do something. So if my owl gets attacked... <laughs> Um, mm -hmm. I'm gonna ready an action where I can dismiss it if it's about to be hit. Ooh, I like it. Are you ready? So you're seeing through your owl's eyes. Yeah. And you're trying to ready an action to dismiss him. Yeah, like, and that's a snap of my fingers. So that if that right. happens, it gets hit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I think you have to use your action to see through his eyes, though. As an action, you can see through your familiar's eyes and hear what it hears until the start of your next turn. I feel like you can just still dismiss him. I think it's legit, even though you use your action to see through his eyes. It's fine. It's totally Thank fine. you. If he gets attacked, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Chad, cool. It's your turn. Uh, Chad is going to stab the hobgoblin in front of him. Move forward and hit him. Uh, 13's not good enough. Yep. That is good to go. You clatter off the hobgoblin's armor and shield as he shouts at you. And I still have um, movement now? Or do you have to mm -hmm. move before you're... Okay. No, no, you can keep moving if you'd like. Um, I'm gonna chill you. All right. The next goblin's going to go. Uh, this one's gonna come this way too. That's as far as he can go. This goblin sees what's up. He's going to climb up here like that, and he's done. Uh, this is the wounded goblin, and he's gonna take an attack at the owl. Um, so he will take his weapon and swing at your owl. Are you going to dismiss it? Yeah, is, already. Is, uh, yeah. Does Buck not do anything? Okay. No, Buck is staying out of the combat. He's just a fucking halfling. Like, okay. he, he ain't got shit. Damn. Um, so he swings at the, the owl. You dismiss the owl. It vanishes from sight. Uh, and the goblin attack just flails. And he looks around surprised. Like, what the fuck? Where did that owl go? Uh, confused as whatnot. This goblin up here is going to take a shot with his bow at at Chad, because Chad is easier to see for the goblin. Um, 16, 17, 18, 19 will hit you, I believe, Chad. Yep. All right. A six-sided die. I, I heard you roll so many dice, dude. I was so scared for a second. <laughs> <laughs> no, you just take six damage from the goblin bow. Halved? Because of raging? because you're raging, yes. Huge brain. So good. All right. Uh, next goblin is going to go. Comes over here. He's going to come up to there, but that's it for him. This guy's coming over here and then over to the tent, but doesn't get an attack. Seelin, it's your turn. Uh, can I get an attack of opportunity on that goblin that just stepped into my yes. threat radius? Polar Master, go for it. Yep. Hit and kill. The goblin dies. Ooh. Can I do the same for the other goblin? No, you need a special ability to get an attack as they approach. All right, Seelin. All right, uh, can I use insight to determine just how uh, how this hobgoblin's feeling? You know, is he scared? Is he, is he close yeah. to surrendering? Yeah, one of our house rules is a non-interactive check as a bonus action. So oh. you would be giving up your your second attack to do this. Okay, sounds good. You know, I don't want to use physical violence. That's more than I need to. I'm going to use insight and, like, see how he's feeling. Uh, the Hobgoblin looks mostly surprised, a little bit afraid, but at the same time, it's like the, the surprise and afraid of a warrior who's been ambushed. There's also, like, a, a confidence behind it because he's in, like, heavy armor with a shield and a sword, and you guys are pretty much naked, you know? He's, he's not concerned. But he is like taken aback. Mm -hmm. And the hobgoblin we knock out. Is he dead or just unconscious? Uh, they're both dying. You know. Oh. Mm. No, I'm just gonna punch him again. All right. You still have your dagger, right? Or is punching better for you? 
Same thing. It's, it's the same thing. I just look cool there. Oh, okay. Lisa wow. wins. 15 clatters hard off of his metal shield, bruising ah. your hand. Who, who uh, thought? The next gobby gob runs over here. This one is guarding, but realizes this situation is getting out of hand. And so he's going to take a sh He'll switch to his bow and take a shot. Um, ooh, can't re quite reach you. He's going to take a shot at Chad as well. Oh my God, another hit on Chad. Oh, Chad, it's happening again. I'm so sorry. You take six points of damage. <laughs> is this half so from rage or anything? Or yep. are we taking it? Okay. I'm having it. I, I leave that to him. Okay. Uh, lock. Um, my turn again. Uh, la, 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 la. Can I use my... I can use a bonus action first before my main action, right? Only if you're going to be taking the attack action anyway. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to use my bonus action to hit the goblin that's weak to the south of me with the butt of mm -hmm. my halberd. Can I do that first? Yeah. Okay, yep. Hit. And knock him down. He falls off the mountain and just slides. All ending right. up somewhere near the bagpipes. And then I believe that goblin directly to the north of me. <laughs> he should be yep. uh, within range of me. Yep. For a yeah, normal so. attack, that's 17 and a 7. Yeah, he's maybe slightly out of range, but you can step closer to him. Uh, and he also just dies immediately. Head rolls off his shoulders. Gotcha. Anything else? Um, Nope, that'll be it for now. And actually, I'm going to step into this tent over here. Do I need to open a door or anything? Or No, they're just flappies. Yep, okay, cool. I'll step into there. All right. Uh, Midori. Oh, jeez. Hey, the one goblin I see right now, that's not dead? This one? Yeah, that one. I'm gonna use okay. a light crossbow. Sure, you grab your crossbow, move to the front of the tent, take a shot at him. 18 hits him. Uh, click the light crossbow text to roll the damage. I don't know why it's not oh, auto sorry, sorry. for you. No, oh, you're good. I messed up your character sheet. Should auto roll it. The In the, the rolling section, the text of light crossbow. Sorry. The, like the rolling section? Yeah, where the dice actually roll and it says like 18, 8. There's some text there that says like crossbow plus 2. Yeah. Click that text. Uh, wait, no, I don't On see it. On the bottom right. I'll just roll for it. Sorry. There you go. It's okay. What? I messed up your character sheet. It's my fault. Um, yeah, you only do one. <laughs> <laughs> That's a GM roll just... right there. What? It, it just hits him in the foot. <laughs> Oh my god. All right, the hobgoblin sees Chad and C. Lynn. And uh, you know what, the hobgoblin, he's gonna shift up here closer to C. Lynn and then try and just knock Chad off the cliff. So oh, geez, why not? Give me an opposed athletics check, Chad, or acrobatics, whichever you'd like. Oh, <laughs> that armor. Chad just dodges. Totally fine. He just goes to shove you, you push him back. The hobgoblin breaks free, draws his sword again. Uh, Gerald. I mean, I'm having a great time just rolling around, <laughs> bleeding. <laughs> just if he stabilized on the ground, can he not be rolling to stand up, like rolling for a twenty or something? Or no, no, he's he's at zero. He should be unconscious. I just didn't want to have him sitting quietly for the entire game. Oh, gotcha. You know? <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm gonna. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to bend the rules so I'm a little, so he's not bored. I'm Wait, gonna run it. I'm gonna oh, run yeah, over here and get my great axe. I'm gonna use a move. Wait, wait, wait! I, I'm sorry. Can I resummon my owl? Uh, how do you resummon your familiar? I don't know, but I I could technically concentrate and do it, maybe. As an action, you can dismiss it. It disappears into a pocket dimension where it waits your summons. Um, as an action, while it is telepath temporarily dismissed, you can cause it to reappear in an unoccupied space within 30 feet of you. Yes. Okay. You so. Back. I'm going to bring him back uh, next to Chad and then ready a help action for Chad. Um, all right. Within 30 feet of you. So, yeah, that's legit. You summon it next to Chad. Doo -doo. Good stuff. Right. Um, I guess I'll go behind him is, and then get an attack of every attack. Yeah, okay? he moved up there to shove. You can get behind him. The two of you yeah. can flank him. All right. 
Um, and then I'll roll my long turn. Help action with uh, on Chad. Perfect. Help action and flanking. You hit the hobgoblin from behind with Ooh. the long sword, and that damage is configured correctly. Good job. He takes 14. Sweet Jesus and apple pie. Uh, this bottom goblin bursts into the tent, running straight for Locke, who's got his halberd like leveled at the hobgoblin. Make your opportunity attack, Locke. Oh, the top runs the right into it. Right through Use it. Your... Deadsies. Uh, next goblin is up here and will take a long bow shot or short bow shot. Can't really see Chad as well now, so he's going to start targeting C. Lin with it. Um, that is assigned to the wrong goblin token. Do it manually. I believe that with as he takes as he takes that shot, he takes that shot at disadvantage, right? Because he is within melee range of me. No, no, no. The goblin up the the top left. He's That's talking way up top. Oh, okay, okay. My bad. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, missing. See Lin. Totally. Oh, of course it misses him. Uh, next up is another goblin up here, who will also make his short bow attack. Too many of you guys right now. We're just gonna do it this way for a short while. Uh, 18 against C. Lin is a hit for seven damage. Ooh. Oof. It is your turn, C. Lin. Uh, yeah. What is your HP? Damage. It's at three now. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, hmm. Am I allowed to say something to him, like when it's not my turn, or no? Yes, rounds are. I was six just gonna seconds, say, like, so... run. That's fine. Oh, I got this, and, brother. I want to impress Chad, and I. <laughs> Also want to demonstrate my alpha ness to him, you know. He's like, yeah. So instead of running, I say, no, but take this guy down, bro. And I uh, punch the hobgoblin in the face. Here I go. Bam! Oh, it's so close! But he brings up a shield at the last moment and just like not blo uh, pushes the blow to the side. And I use uh, my bonus action to punch him again. Let's go! There you go. Ooh. You want to tell me how you knock him down? Knock him out? Uh, my fist has been so, like, you know, tempered by the repeated punch of his armor that it became stronger in that combat. And finally, you know, I dent his armor with a single punch to the chest. That dent hits him on the inside, and you hear, like, a slight cracking of his, uh, of his sternum, and he collapses to the ground. All right, can I move? Yeah, totally. Yeah. Alright, I move. I, I say, uh, I'm gonna go help the others. And I go That's what I'm talking camp. about, baby. Yeah, I got you, homie. <laughs> and I, uh, chill in the camp now. Alright. The next is the goblin next to Locke. Uh, it'll move slightly closer and make an attack roll against you. 13 and 3 is 16. Yep. That's a hit. Alright. Goblin stabs you for... 8? 7? Roll 6 plus 1 for goblin. Six plus two for eight points of damage. Holy jeez. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next goblin will take a... He can... Chad's behind half cover, so he'll get disadvantage on his attack against Chad, uh, which is a fail. He misses. Lock. I'm going to attack this goblin right in front of me. Um, it's my action. The 13. 21 will... <laughs> yeah. You rip him to bits. You can describe it however you'd like. Um, yeah, I just clean, just cleanly take his head off. That's all I want. Or stab him and then like I drop his corpse over the side of that mountain, down with the bagpipes okay. and the other goblin. Um, <laughs> bagpipes. The um, the extra movement that you could take counts as a bonus action, right? Or is it not? To dash is a full action unless you have an ability that says otherwise. Okay, so I can only move like thirty right now then. Twenty, yeah, thirty. Or, so you're not encumbered. Thirty. Okay. Um, I am encumbered. <laughs> you don't have your gear. Oh, you're right. I am not encumbered. Okay. Um, yeah, I would like to use, I believe, second wind allows me to roll one hit die. Yes. Uh, D10 plus your level. Um, second wind is 1D10 plus one. So I will recover nine HP. Which Beautiful. Which should put me back at 13. And then, um, let's see. I click and drag. Wait, what? 
I was gonna say, yo, Locker Stacy, can you bring me my axe? I ain't got time for that. Um, I I should get like, do I have like half cover here against their shots? If am I like against the wall? Is that okay or no? No, no. The that's a cliff going down from where you are, so you have a precipice. Oh. I know this map is a little hard to see. That's fine. In that case, I'll be like moving along inside the tent. That should be good all for right. cover, right? Yeah, you're. They can't see you. Yep. Cool. At all. All right. Midori, Stacy the X. Stacy, okay. Can I just grab Chad's axe and try to bring it to him? Sure, it's right next to you. Okay, I pick Pretty it heavy. up. It's gonna take all your far. movement to get to Chad. Go ahead. Yes. Wait, Forty, I can... five. Yeah, you can move and dash to get to Chad. There you go. Oops, I moved this. What is this? I'm sorry. Okay, that's 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 all I can do. <laughs> cool. Wait, wait, wait. Are we able to do the swap on her turn, or do I need to? Uh, she can just hand it to you, and you that's can fine. pick it up. With... I'll drop the long sword. Perfect. Or I, I guess will... I'll just put it on my bag. I will touch Chad and give him resistance. Uh, you've had to use your action to get to Chad. Oh, Is that a bonus I can't... action spell? No, it's not a bonus action. Okay. Never mind. I don't touch Chad. All right. Shoot. You hand him his axe. Alright. Thank you. Uh, next no up, problem. Gerald. You can control your owl, and uh, you can tell me how it's going inside the tent. What's the feeling between you and Buck as all the action rages around you? Terror, screaming. I'm peeing a little. Um, there's just there's just blood and some pee everywhere. Really, it's just a pretty terrible situation. Oh my god! All right, so Buck is actually like next to you, kind of like stroking your your head a little bit, being like, "It's okay. I've got you, man. You're not gonna die today." It's okay. I feel uh, stronger because of the motivation and I want to control my owl even more. All right, what are you going to do with your owl? I'm going to send him with Chad and he's going to ready in action to help Chad in the next attack. All right, so your your owl starts flying over towards, where do you expect Chad to be going? Towards I assume, yeah, yeah, I assume that, that Chad's going to charge those goblins, so move him All back right. up there. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, Chad, go for it. I should be able to attack him, right? If like if I move here. <laughs> yeah, we're oh, being pretty boy. loose with the movement rules. Yeah. That's close enough. All right, I'm gonna attack him with my great axe. Nice. And yell, you shouldn't have fucked with Chad and his girl. <laughs> <laughs> uh, twenty-one will hit, and seven will wreck the goblin, who immediately just falls to the ground at your feet, deadsies, super deadsies. Later, bitch. All right, the next goblin, he's been up top. He's had this bird's eye view of the carnage below and he realizes when things are over and he flees up the mountain. He's too far for you to get an opportunity attack, but he just scampers away. Seelin? Mm. I, uh, stay in the tent and rest. All right. The next goblin also scampers, and that is everybody. That's all the enemies. Where's that Chad opportunity <laughs> attack? Uh, he's also outside of Chad's reach. Oh, okay. And even if it wasn't, goblins can use a bonus action to disengage, oh, yeah, you're right, you're so right. they're cool. I'll see you cats later. Oh my god. <laughs> all right. A moment passes, everyone takes a breath, collects their thoughts. Hobgoblins and goblins lay dead, scattered across the field. You have access to your gear, Buck's gear, all the things you need. And you're 15 minutes away from the road and you know that there are more goblins and hobgoblins around, but they're not here right now. Yeah, let's go ahead and take a quick investigation into these other tents, see what's going on here. Oh, also wait, can I put my armor back on and everything first? I imagine we all do that immediately. Yes, you can I'm gonna, all re-gear. I'm gonna walk up to Locke and give like the ultimate handshake where you like both like grab each other like that. <laughs> Just be like, good job, brother. <laughs> All right. I admire your bravado. That's about all. All right, what's in this tent? Wait, wait, wait. How did Chad see Locke kill all those goblins? He wouldn't know, right? I'm sure I hear it. He looked down and he saw the bloodied end of my... He saw the bloodied end of my halberd and corpses shit. scattered across who the ground. Who else is going to be killing shit down there? What, who? Do yeah. you think Midori's Anyone killing anyone over here? Casey's going to be it's down there? Lin. Maybe if there was a scattered of, of, empty, of empty me. bottles, maybe then, but... Okay, what's in this tent, Koibu? Uh, there's beds. It's goblin beds and bedding and housing and stuff. You can go through their stuff, and I'll just give you all their valuables. 
Okay. Uh, it depends on how long you want to spend searching the camp. Are you is like there anything that'll heal here? Buddy? Anything what? Like there's any no like healing. a healing potion or anything? No. Right, no, yeah, there's the, no healing uh, potions around. Fuck the gnome, dude. Is there anything we can do uh, to our little uh, incapacitated friend to like bring him up or? No, you need like a healing spell or he needs a night of rest. Yeah. Okay. You you made your escape while he was still sort of wounded and it's the middle of the day, but no one's expecting you to escape in the middle of the day. So someone's going to have to carry him maybe? How much do you weigh? How much do I weigh as a gnome? Yeah. yeah. Total weight. I do not know. I pick his ass up. Uh, okay. <laughs> I mean, can I give him some uh, good mushroom to recover? Do you have a good one. mushroom left? I had the one from... Um, I'll, it's, I'll, I'll he he did because I specifically hours, remember him not feeding it to him. They only last 24 hours. Ooh. No, I just have some regular mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know yet that this has lost its magical properties. <laughs> All right, I yeah, Here you go, little gnome. This should heal you. And I shove the mushroom in his mouth and make him chew with my hand. <laughs> He'll have Does to chew on some cord, but he can do it. Okay, well, here. Uh, we've got this coffin that we've got to bring back. We've got the corpse inside. We can just throw him alongside inside the coffin and we'll drag it back. Whoa! <laughs> Uh, that's my I'm plan. That. It's the most efficient way of movement. I agree. Um, can I take a uh, like a medium? I start tripping on the mushroom. I want to take a I want to take a medium <laughs> amount of time to go through this goblin stuff. I just want to make sure there's not like any stolen possessions here. I don't need to like dig through their beds, but just like a peek inside every tent, looking for any lock boxes, chests, anything major like that. Any jewelry that like we could return. Yeah. Right. So you start looking through stuff. Uh, what you find is all of your stuff, all of Buck's stuff, and their possessions. So there's no other extra possessions around. However, their possessions do contain a certain amount of wealth. So let me roll. Whoops. Ooh. Uh, you are going to find three gold, four silver, and three copper. These guys are pretty broke. They don't have a lot of cash on them. Okay. I'll hold on to it for now. Okay. Uh, so as you're searching the stuff, Buck says, guys, guys, Wait. they've got my donkeys, my mules. But it... <clears throat> they have your ass. Is... I'm in a coffin with a dead body and I'm tripping. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> would, would, would you guys mind... I'm having a total we... existential ego death. <laughs> would you mind terribly if uh, we on our way we go back and, and grab them? It's on the way back to the road if we, we head the same way that they brought us. Grab what? Yeah, we can go grab your the, ass. The donkeys. My donkeys. They're they're pretty important to me. We would have I've to head had further. For a long time. We have to head further down the road. And it's on no, the no, way no. back on to the, way the back road. road. Oh yeah, yeah that's I'd fine. I say yeah. we go for it. We could uh, plop Gerald on one of them donkeys. Yeah, sure. I think they'd be really useful. Okay. Cool. All right. Um, Buck goes into the the tent, grabs his guitar and a few small possessions, loads his pockets with what he can carry. And heads with you guys Can in I the direction of the. Do road. an insight check on him, just out of curiosity, see if he's being. Yeah, truthful. what are you? What are you looking for? Um, just see if he's being truthful about these donkeys and isn't like taking us into a trap. Yeah, give me an insight. What? You're pretty certain that Buck is a stand-up guy, you know. Okay. He's. He's a uh, good guy. Can I use my perception to find the bagpipes thrown off the cliff earlier? Yes. <laughs> Yes. Uh, you awesome. don't even need your perception. You just see them like covered by bloody goblin bodies. All right, I go and pick it up, and I walk over to Joe and says, "I, I got you, buddy. I'll hold on to this for when you're better, and you can play your beautiful music for us again." I'm like screaming about nothing is real. Nothing is real. <laughs> <laughs> the the bagpipes have the wretched smell of goblin blood on them. It is atrocious. It's like. Just shy of skunky. I uh, threw it into the coffin. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I, so... start to, I start quieting down a little bit now that I have my bagpipes. I think like like the trip is going better now. The right. the, uh, the mushrooms are starting to kick into real gear. And I'm just murmuring now. Uh, who's carrying the coffin? Kind of heavy. <laughs> I assume Locke and I. I'm right. already encumbered, but... <laughs> so... You start making your way. It might take three people to do it, so it's kind of mm -hmm. slow going. But you make your way in the direction of the road, uh, coming down the mountain, through a little valley, up an area. You're following the trail that these guys have made that takes them from their camp to their ambush spot. Uh, when you kind of get to the top of some rocks, 
and looking down, you see that sort of same ambush position that you were in before. This time you are on like the backside of the hobgoblins who are set up in this ambush. There's still three of them. You can't see the goblins. They're like on the other side of the ravine hiding behind some shit, or at least that's where they were the last time. Um, but you're back to this same spot. Are we able uh, to like run into the donkeys as, as well? There's two of them. Their names are Dolly and uh, is it like a hill like going down? Yeah, can we see this at all? Or are can you going to show us a map? I, yeah, I'm going to give you a map. Uh, could the we... donkey's names are Dolly and June, and you have both of them in tow with you. Could we maybe push the coffin down and like roll it onto the hobgoblins? <laughs> I'm in the coffin. <laughs> There's like there's like really weak bagpipe music that's coming from inside the coffin as I lose all grasp. Like of if we could push it down or like just roll it down and like it hits one of them or two of them, like that's a that's a dank meme. So you're just above this cliff here on the the top right. Um, the hobgoblins are here at this point. I'm gonna actually remove some of the lighting lines so you can see everything else. You thinking what I'm thinking, Locke? And I point to the coffin. <laughs> I don't have time for these games, right? Aim for the bushes, and I. Do we? If I run up to attack, is it a surprise attack? Do I get advantage on that? At the present, they have not noticed you. But if you're going to move any closer, it's going to require a stealth roll. Gotcha. Um. Um. Yeah. I mean, I guess we kind of have to, right? Yeah. I'll, I'll move forward. Um. To behind the hobgoblin, going for a stealth, I guess. I'll go right with him. Okay. Give or actually, me... wait, wait, wait. B before we do this, um, be because I know we're running a little bit over our time limit. Um, I don't, I don't know what time we're on. Like some people might have to leave soon. Wait, are we? Oh, it's cold. It's ten thirty. Yeah. I'm oh, good for as long as you guys are. And I actually have to go. <laughs> <laughs> is this like an? Is this an okay pause spot for next time or? We can definitely pause right here. I'd like to get Gerald to one HP so we don't come back and he's still <laughs> not doing anything. Uh huh. So we're just gonna bend the rules and say somehow magically you recover one HP. Um, Let's say that like the realization of my own existence has like brought such clarity to me, and like the mushroom trip has like gained me an insight, and I've become even stronger. <laughs> as I mean, I. I know there are children watching, and I don't want to send children the message that hallucinogenic mushrooms will help improve your life. <laughs> okay. But sure. But sure. Kids, don't do drugs. Yeah, um, don't. But yeah, it's fine. Uh, are these sessions okay. three hours, not four? Up to you guys. Oh, I thought it was four hours. So. Oh. No, it's okay. Um, yeah, we can cut it here, and then we'll pick up here next time. Sounds good. Cool. Thanks for the backup, Quibu. <laughs> I appreciate yeah. it, dude. That was, that was a rough session, but I, just, I had a lot of fun. <laughs> good, good. Uh, I'm sorry that you were wounded badly for most of it. I'm sorry that you died. Uh, I like Chad. Chad's a but better it's character. Good. It's good, yeah. He's not this there... low in, low IQ motherfucker. Uh, cool. So that's going to wrap up our first session of Gnomes, Tomes, and Catacombs. We've seen a gnome. We have yet to see a tome or a catacomb. Although a coffin's pretty close to a catacomb. So we're sort of living up to our name thus far. I wish we saw a dead gnome. <laughs> oh my god. Can you calm Jesus. down? Jesus. Yeah. These are our teammates. All right. Um, yeah, do we, how do we do outtrips normally? Do you want to say goodbye? Do you, I don't know if we need to plug our stuff or anyone cares. Or... Go, yeah. Malixia and, yeah, go from the top. Devin. All right. Well, my friends, if it is good D and D you seek, I will see you next week. I am Mylixia. I am a broadcaster on Twitch.tv. You can find me at M Y L I X I A, and uh, Devin Nash on all media. Thank you very much for having me on. I really appreciate it. All right, Mr. Moon, go. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Mr. Moon. I'm a Chad in this game and in real life. So if you want to watch me, go follow me there. <laughs> what all else right. can I say? The sky's toast. My stream is twitch.tv slash disguise toast, not twitch.tv slash disguise toast HS, like my uh, overlay indicates. I don't know how you listen. You changed this like literally out. yesterday, okay? So why don't you I just mean, chill like, out? The all one right? thing you see, yeah. yeah. <sighs> Lily, who are you? Where can people find you? Lily P2. Do you have a YouTube as well? Lily P2. How many subs? How, many, how many subs? <laughs> Okay, and then Koibu, do you want to... Oh, and I'm Destiny, obviously. Thanks for joining us. I really appreciate all of you guys. And all of you guys, um, like you guys, like the audience, and you guys that are here today in uh, the Discord. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Especially you, Koibu, for being so patient with all of us. Yes. And then Koibu, Koibu you're awesome.
Get my name's Koivu, or, or Neil. I prefer being called Neil to Koivu. Uh, I just run D&D shit all the time, mostly second edition on the self-titled channel. Cool. And that's K-O-I-B-U. Yeah, yeah, thanks a lot for joining us, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Is this going up on Spotify and shit? I See you next week. Up.